everyone. Welcome to the Park Scope Unprofessional Podcast Hour. My name is Joe. I have lost my voice um, somewhat, I guess. I'm not really sure. It's kind of trying to come back. It's, it's awkward. Anyway, joining me tonight for a very special episode is Brian. Brian, how are you doing? Joe, I am sad. Why are you sad, I st- Brian? I still got the sads from being back home in Virginia. I, I want to be back in Orlando. I know. Same with me. I'm like, I'm hanging on for dear life with that vacation right. vibe. Like, right. like just like, oh man, I could just get a beer at 930 in the morning yeah. whenever, if I still yeah. wanted to. Right. Physically, I'm okay. Like, I just got better yesterday. I wasn't, yeah. you know, feel like I was driving around the Stone of Triumph. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I'm a lot better. <laughs> yeah, you don't get out of bed in the morning and just like feel like you're going to fall over in the shower right, or something. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Uh, so, Brian, in Park Scope tradition, uh, how's the weather in Virginia? It's pretty beautiful. Low 70s, low humidity. It's going to be like that all weekend. And then nice. it just shoots right back up to 90 next week. So, you know. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what it's in Ohio also. Like we're going to yeah. like 69, 69, 67, mm-hmm. 72, 77 and then 81 and then just goes yeah. up from there. So. Yeah, well, you know the same Virginia, you know, if you don't if you don't like the weather, you know, just wait 5 minutes. Yeah. And, uh, give or take. Yeah. Cool. So, uh what are you drinking tonight, sir? I am drinking it is an O'Connor Punkelweiss. A Punkelweiss. So it's a Hefeweizen yeah. with pumpkin. I'm Yes, saying. yes. And well, O'Connor, uh-huh. O'Connor, I'd like to point out, is a brewery that I uh, frequented frequently mm-hmm. in uh, Norfolk, Virginia, when I went to college there. Uh, very mm-hmm. good beer. And this is the first time I'm having this. And on the box here, it says autumn in a glass. And I do not disagree. It is very autumn-like. And it's also in my glass. There you so go. There you go. <laughs> so my beer of choice is actually a very rare four-pack. I saw one at the grocery store behind uh-huh. – Behind the counter, so clearly I had to get it. It is uh, Columbus Brewing Company's Creeper Imperial oh. I- India Pale Ale. Ooh. So, oh, there we go. I had Sounds. One, I had one of these last night. They are very good. Yeah. Mm, so that's, it's, a, it's appropriate for the, uh, the, the name is appropriate for the uh, yeah. time of year and all that. Exactly. I like, I like our theming of beers. Yeah, it's it's got some, I would say some uh, like f- tropical notes, like blueberry maybe. With a lot of like pine, that danky pine. Oh yeah, get. love so, that dank. It's delicious. Oh yeah, definitely all about that dank. <laughs> all about that dank. No malt. <laughs> that's a beer joke. Um, oh, that's a good beer. Oh shit, that's good. Anyway, so this is a special episode uh, because well, Brian and I hung out at Halloween Horror Nights pretty much like. Thursday through Sunday exclusively a bunch of times. This is true. Yeah. Yeah, we did a lot. Um, mm-hmm. But I'm going to start off the show real quick uh, with uh, Fallon. Um, was this your first time writing Fallon or have you written it before? Or I wrote it earlier this year when I had to go down to Orlando for work. Um, uh-huh. So this was probably around my fourth or fifth go through on Fallon. Okay. Uh, so this is my first time. Um, mm-hmm. Like my, my history with the attraction was – Diagon Alley was intestine adjust, and mm-hmm. I heard from several people about a Thirty Rock attraction being replacing oh. um, uh, uh, Twister. Uh, except oh. it wasn't Thirty Rock; they were wow. talking about the location, Thirty Rock, not the mm-hmm. not the TV show. So right. when I heard this, I flipped my I flipped my head because I'm like, oh my god, you're gonna like be like Liz Lemon and go through, you know, like oh, no, <laughs> no, none of that at all. Um, then I heard it was the Tonight Show Jimmy Fallon, blah blah blah. So like, um, it's a little bit of history. Uh, Universal or NBC, one of the two, have been looking to do a SNL attraction for a little while. Um, Interesting. And I think a lot of what comes from Jimmy Fallon is what the original concept does for SNL because the SNL like opening is like throughout New York. So right. like, you could do a race through New York. With like all the characters, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you could kind of see how they kind of plugged and played that. So, so I I heard about Fallon and people were hyping this up to be like, Universal is going to blow away Soren and all that jazz. And I'm like, (laughs) guys, temper your expectations a little bit here. Just calm down. Yeah. Right. So I mean, the one thing I've always heard is the exterior was going to be beautiful. It looks great. Oh yeah. Um, My only complaint is that they didn't go like full on on out like try to do the fountain and like the. 
uh, the skating area, you know, the ice skating. Right, yeah. If they did that, how cool would that have been? That would have been awesome. Uh, Have you seen – were you there when Hashtag would just sort of stick his head out the window? I've seen that a couple times, and I think that's – I thought that was pretty cool, but yeah, that ice skating stuff sounds much better. <laughs> I, I haven't seen hashtag at all, really, um, even wow. in the attraction. So I'll get to that in a second. So, um, I so my experience on Fallon was on Sunday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Sunday, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, did we talk yeah. about it? That I wasn't because I, I I'd left Sunday. So oh, did you, you go through? Oh, you left sat- Sunday? Okay, yeah. so Saturday, Saturday, then. right? Right. Okay, so Saturday. Um, I can't remember much either from that yeah, whole weekend. Yeah. So you know, it's I, I spent all blur. I spent like a sour like a solid hour yesterday writing down everything I did and mm-hmm. trying to remember it. And some of the nights got a little kind of blurry with what houses I did and when. A little bit, little bit. Yeah, so we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Yeah. <laughs> but um, so I uh, Saturday night. So I woke up sa- Saturday morning, um, uh, and I was like, do you know what I want to do? I'm going to do Fallon. So I'm just like, I'm I'm just going to open up the app and see if I can reserve a time. So I, re- I opened it, and I was mm-hmm. like taking a poop, and I reserved <laughs> like on North I on North I Drive. Yeah. So it's not like I was like thirty minutes away. Um, I noticed that too. The first time I went on it, it was a pretty wide net that they cast for that whole yeah. reserving thing. It was like I was in my I was in a Lyft or an Uber, I think, mm-hmm. um, on the way down. It was somewhere on I Drive, and I was just like, "Holy crap! I can actually reserve this. Let me do that now." Yeah. So I reserved it, um, and. Um, yeah, so I was like, oh, shit, I need to do this. So this is when I run off, and I get there like a little bit after 11, and um, I, I check in to the desk, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, everything is beautiful on that first floor. I think the oh, queue yeah. area it just is gorgeous. Like, I understand that it's, it's it's like fake marble and everything, but it looks spectacular. Oh, yeah. Um, absolutely gorgeous. The um, I go up, and I get my color, blue. Um, I... Uh, look around. I look. At, I send some snaps of the Conan O'Brien exhibit. Yes. Um, I shake my fist at Jay Leno. I, I watch some <laughs> of the videos of of uh, Carson and all those other guys. Um, uh-huh. And you know, and then the the color gets called. Uh, also, our colors being called did not match up with the colors that they were actually calling. So it'd be like do do do, and like red came up, and they were like, "Okay, blue, go upstairs." Like, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, it's just like I never. I, I never ran into that, but I will say in that if you're out in the you know Orlando sun all day long and then you mm-hmm. go inside, I I had I think orange one time and red another time or yellow and red I don't know what the I couldn't I couldn't tell sometimes what the colors were especially if they were that close on the spectrum. Yeah, but, like, like my, purple my, and blue. Yeah, was, the, was, that's my big problem was purple and blue. Yeah, I couldn't tell like like it was like because th- what they have is they have all these LED lights that light up these colors. Mm-hmm. Um, like there's a lot of lighting in the area and it would light up. So the blue starts looking lighter blue and the purple starts looking like normal blue and right. it all kind of blends together. Um, mm-hmm. so I go upstairs and I charge my phone a little bit, obviously. Um, yes. I play some of the games. They're fine. Um, what's weird is they were only allowing certain colors in to see the ragtime gals. That is so, interesting. So it's this really weird thing where it just doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel like a hangout area. It just feels like multiple pre-shows. And that's, huh. one, of my, and that's one of my big problems with this queueless technology is that it's not really queueless at all. We, right. You still have to queue. You still have to wait. You're waiting in a different way. Um, and the fact is a lot of people like the progression of walking in a line better than just sitting randomly somewhere in the park and thinking, like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything. Right. But right. – that's more of a psychology thing, and I'll probably write about that soon. I'm trying to do an article about that. And that's interesting you say that, too, because every time I've been through that, it's always been like no one really cared where you were at a certain point. I think mm-hmm. on, it was probably on a less busy day when I went. Um, I was hanging out on the first floor, and they're like, okay, come up whenever you want to. I'm like, all right. So Sweet. I did. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. So, and then I got I got up to the second floor. Yeah. Um, it was pretty actually it's pretty packed up there there was nobody on the first floor everybody was just hanging out on the second floor because mm-hmm. the ragtime gals were there and um all the games were all filled up everybody mm-hmm. was using the chargers so and i think there were about two or three colors just in that area it was pretty packed and actually pretty stuffy too yeah um, we had we had about like strange. we had three colors up there which was kind of crazy um mm-hmm. but i think it felt fine ish so i watched the ragtime gals um 
I'm pessimistic on them, but hey, I got a smile on my face watching them, and everyone loved them. Like people everyone, ate, people ate that shit up. It was insane the reactions they got when I, when I would see them. Yeah, like, just, they're, 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 they're not. I mean, Fallon's not really my thing overall, but mm-hmm. it was crazy just how into it the everybody else was. Yeah, it was it, it, uh, incredible. Like I'm just like people are like like they did jump. And yeah. like people are actually jumping, it was crazy. Like people yeah. loved it, and they just ate it all up. Um, as I said before, I didn't get to see hashtag at all. He, uh, my nut, my color got called during the break, um, so I didn't see that at all. Um, it's so strange. Every time I you, mm-hmm. I, I saw a hashtag. You know, when he's waving outside of the window, just outside of the building. I saw him when I was going up the stairs. I saw him when I was in um, waiting in that actual proper queue mm-hmm. to pick up your glasses and everything. I I saw him everywhere. It was it's. I, it must be to certain times a day that I just might have hit the sweet spot with hashtag. So, sort of like how you've never seen Fountain of Fair Fortune. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Which we'll get exactly. to in a second also. <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, no, hashtag, I never saw him. Um, but I like I wasn't I, I wasn't really searching him out, and I was just trying to experience everything. Mm-hmm. Um, so my, my color gets called. I wait in a line for about still like five to seven minutes, which isn't bad, but still like weird when you're you're expecting cueless mm-hmm. um so like the safety wrap is amazing oh, um so that's good. definitely the best part of the attraction for what so it's worth good. um it's it's fantastic i mean it's the roots yeah. how can you yeah. go wrong you can't. um you, they're yeah. amazing yeah they're they're great and when i i saw uh, jimmy fallon tape at universal two uh three years ago for mm-hmm. the diagon alley part um and you know they just played a shit ton of music like the roots they were like they would do all the interstitial music they'd play they played like a two song set to open it and wow. like a two song closing set and it was yeah, great I remember, yeah i remember seeing them when i went to that john stewart rally for sanity thing a few uh, years back okay. yeah 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 and they they played there um in between you know the people coming out they were they were just so good yeah the roots the roots are holy shit they're they're great they're definitely the best part about this attraction and mm-hmm. the tonight show the roots are a plus in my book. Mm-hmm. Um, always got to love quest love. Uh, so the um, uh, I'm trying to think now. So uh, I, I board the attraction and my immediate response is this is one of the worst ride vehicles ever designed. <laughs> They're uncomfortable. Yeah, they are. You cannot like lean back on these ride vehicles. Yeah. It's impossible. It's like somehow straight back yet still angled so it yeah. feels like your back cannot go back on it it just it's super weird it's it's really really bad um the somehow the seat belts when you plug them in they don't register on whatever computer system they have so they have to physically check them using a, a flashlight yep it's the most it's the most bizarre it's like an old school it's like star tours except way more uncomfortable right and Instead of just and they have to lean over like the side of the ride vehicles when they're closed. It's really uncomfortable. Every, like I try, I try to, I get what they're trying to do there. They, it looks like mm-hmm. the seats in the in the theater for the Tonight Show, but it just is uncomfortable and doesn't make sense. So and there's this weird time limit too. Like mm-hmm. every every time I would go on it, someone wouldn't buckle their seatbelt fast enough, so the entire row had to be un- uh, uh, unbuckled again. Yeah, and everybody had to try it again. It was just it was the strangest strangest load in. I've ever seen. That's one of the issues I had was we were um, loading in and we were trying to get our seat. We not even buckled. We were trying to like get the seat belts like to pull out. Like oh, it, they, right, lo- yeah. they locked and we're like, yeah. we can't. No, we can't. Like, try it again. <laughs> no, no. So we did that. Um, I'm, the ride itself is fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, the biggest problem I have to ride is like, Hey, look, the 3d looks gorgeous. It is Mm -hmm. the best 3d in the park. No questions asked. Screen is huge. I mean, huge. Yeah. Huge huge. screen. The, the best, clearly, clearly the, the best version of this attraction, um, of this attraction design. The problem Mm -hmm. is technically, if you want to get really technical, there are three other versions of this attraction in the park. If you want to include Shrek. So I would, I would. So that's that's my big problem is like if you get yep. rid of Shrek, you get rid of Simpsons, and you get rid of Minions, this is a great attraction. Right. The problem is it's just – it's exactly the same. Mm-hmm. It's the same as Simpsons. It's the same as Minions. It could very closely be the same as Shrek, and I, I'd count it in the same thing personally. Um, and, and that's my big problem is like 
It's just it's again, and it's not my the hashtag screens bullshit that right. I, that, that gets thrown around a lot. It's just yeah. that it's the same ride. It is literally the same ride. It's like if they put Body Wars next to Star Tours. Like that's <laughs> the issue you're getting with now. So yeah, that's, that's and that's, that's, and that's really the issue I have. I mean, the only really issue I have it with I have with that too. It's just there's and it being you know kind of across from Shrek and mm-hmm. almost right next to Minions. It's just there's ah yeah there's just so many of those and a bunch of them just so bunched in together. Yeah, it's just lack. It's that lack of variety that yeah. kind of that kind of hurts it. And it, yeah, otherwise, other, otherwise it'd be really good. It'd be amazing, but. It's it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Um, so I didn't really stick around in the um, the gift shop because I ran out to meet you <laughs> right. at, at Monsters Cafe. Oh, right, so yeah. I, I haven't I haven't really looked at the gift shop yet. So I didn't buy my I didn't buy my tight pants. Monsters um, Cafe always not up for that. Yeah, I, I know you like Monsters Cafe. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. I still, I still have never eaten there. Ugh, I just I just go other places, you know. Yeah, um, I get it. Talking about other places to eat though. This is the first time I went to Tuvesome. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, the last time I was down was October of last year. Oh, wow. Okay. And Tuvesome for my group was like a two-hour wait. Oh, and, yeah. And we're like, F that. We're going to Cowfish. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're going to go to Cowfish, and we're going to get all the fried pickles and uh, crab ragoon. Uh, fried pickles. I mean, yeah, Fried pickles are the best. You see, hear that, Nick? Brian likes fried pickles. And they give you so much of it, too. Like, I ordered the fried pickles. Um, mm-hmm. I, sorry. Side note. I went to Cowfish, and it was the first time I got their fried pickles. And it came out, and I was going to get sushi after that. Mm-hmm. It came out with such a huge bowl. You did not get sushi. <laughs> I only got one roll. I was gonna, oh, only <laughs> one roll. I was oh. two, yeah, I, was, I got one roll. I was going to get two. only got one because I just I forced myself because those p- fried pickles were so good. And fried pickles are just good in general. There, so it's, those a, were it's a nice tempura batter. Good. Oh my gosh! It's a really those are really good fried pickles. Like, oh. see, here's the thing: Nick's wife loves fried pickles, so Jen and mm-hmm. I get fried pickles, and Nick's like, "Oh, they're disgusting." So we're like, "Ah, we're eating them in front of you. They're so <laughs> good." So anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Twosome. Twosome. Um, uh, I got I I went there. There was barely anyone there at noon. Yeah. This was Sunday. Um, mm-hmm. uh, nursing my hangover after Saturday night's Halloween <laughs> horror nights, where oh yeah. Where Felipe ordered <laughs> double fire whiskeys, but somehow they ended up in Strongbow, and things happen. Oh yeah, uh, so that was a thing. Um, so yeah, I went to Tusum and um, I got the uh, the hair of the dog. I got the chocolate old fashioned, which was a, an amazing drink. It's a really yeah. good drink. Um, so I was I was looking for whatever their best chocolate uh, mixed drink was, and the uh, bartender said, "Hey, go for the chocolate old fashioned." I'm like done i i yes so i was kind of bouncing around on the menu a little bit i was looking at the ginocchi i was looking at uh the duck flatbread because mm-hmm. uh, i love duck um oh, duck is so good there's uh, a uh, right, there's vinnie vinnie's place near my work has uh-huh. duck curry has duck curry Ooh. the best yeah i know you talked about curry earlier before uh, we got on uh, i know <laughs> sorry sorry i didn't mean to sidetrack again but i just had to say duck curry <laughs> duck curry <laughs> Maybe- I'm gonna yeah. have to tell my, I have to tell my dad that recipe or, or that idea, and then I need to Google mm-hmm. some recipes because duck curry sounds oh, yeah. amazing. Shit, oh my god! Sounds, oh my god! Anyway, sorry, I keep good. sidetracking. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> now I'm on a whole thing about duck now. Oh, <laughs> duck is one of my favorites. Um, so uh, I uh, got the Tour de France burger. I felt like a burger. I haven't had a burger yet this trip. Sure. Um, I want to try it, but this is the one with the avocado, fried egg, and some other stuff on it. I got Ooh. it with the steak fries. The burger uh-huh. was absolutely delicious. It was fantastic. Uh, the steak fries are steak fries. Right. Very similar to the ones I get at uh, the Winking Lizard in Cleveland, which is like a uh, a mini chain kind of restaurant where they make things fresh, but it's still like a chain in Cleveland and Columbus mm-hmm. area. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they, they've got like 12 locations, but it's a very similar thing. So that's like, eh. Yeah. Um, uh, Felipe met up with me. He got the same thing, <laughs> and um, oh, yeah. And then we saw uh, uh, Penelope and Jock walk around. Oh, okay, and I, cool. I, I got the photo with them, so I'm happy. Nice. Uh, nice. My favorite one was we were sitting next to this couple, 
And Penelope walks up and she's like, Jacques, do you see who we have here? We have the number one dad. And it's like, <laughs> on his back is number one dad. And he's like, and they're like, Dad, what's your name? He's like, and then he turns to Jacques and says, What's your name? And he's like, What's your Jacques? Like, what's your name? And the guy says, What's your name? So they did this whole weird back and forth thing. And so Penelope's Infinite like, loop. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to count to three. And then when I say three, you both say your name at the same time. <laughs> so they had a good time. They were having a good time. Um, Jacques did a birthday clap, which was like, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. So that was it was it was a really funny thing. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, that was really super cool. I was happy to see that. That was definitely one of the highlights of Twosome. Um, I, I want to go back. I want to try more of the food. Um, I need to get dessert. Uh, Penelope was, was disappointed I didn't get dessert, but oh. I said, but I said um, I had a um, dagger. I, I said I, I yeah I said I had the uh, chocolate uh, old fashioned. She said, oh you had a liquid dessert. I'm like yes <laughs> I did. So we I did that. Um, so next time I'll have to get the dessert. But anyway, that's my toothsome review. Uh, not my favorite restaurant at Universal Orlando. That's still Chop Chop, but. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's definitely up there. I really appreciate what it is, um, and I want to try more of it later. The two chocolate stout, I have to say, yeah, so good. Money. I wasn't feeling Absolutely beer amazing. at that point. Yeah, well, I, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> um, it was a day. It was yeah. a day. Oh my god! So, we had a few of them. Yeah, so we can talk right. about that in a second. But yeah. let's talk some Halloween horror nights. Yeah, please, uh, the reason for the season. Yeah. Uh, Man, where do we want to begin? Um, so Halloween Horror Nights, I got in Thursday morning. Um, I was there Thursday to Monday. I flew. I got in at my flight at like 1030 in the morning. Uh, I got a beer at Cask and Lauder. Um, amazing. If anyone ever flies out of the Southwest Terminal, like 100 to 120 or whatever, 140, whatever. Um, Cask and Lauder. Cask and Larder. Sorry. Cask and Larder. Uh, there you go. Definitely the best way to go. Um, as as Joe does, he got an IPA IPA and pretzels. Mm. Um, spent grain pretzels, delicious. Say what now? Uh, spent grain. So it's the grain they use for brewing, and they use that ah. to make pretzels. So it was yeah. absolutely fantastic. They had a beer cheese and a nice um, kind of uh, I don't want to say Dijon mustard, but sort of Dijon-y. You know, mm-hmm. like they still have like the mustard kind of balls in them if you know the, for lack you of a better the term seed? yeah the mustard seeds the mustard seed? yes the mustard <laughs> seeds oh my mustard god mustard balls i would use that i oh boy this is this is <laughs> this is a new low this is a new low point for me on the podcast this oh goodness balls. love it and there's uh, like a place near me called the mustard seed oh god <laughs> anyway i don't know i'm clearly a mess right now i need another drink uh. oh <laughs> So anyway, I went to um, as one does. I got onto NBC Grill Brew, pretzels, wings. Man, those best boneless wings. Town. Yeah, best pretzel in town. Man, those Hands boneless down. wings are good. Really good boneless wings. Um, and I had something else. Uh, onion rings. So we split it. I split it with a friend. Um, not as good at IPA as here, but it's a, it's a mm. decent beer. Um, so rode some rides, and then I met up with you at Finnegan. Yes. Yeehaw. You're trying to drag me out there, and I'm like, fuck it. Let's just do it. Let's so, go. Yep. And so I did that, and man, it was hot out that day. Oh, wasn't it? Though? I think the first words you said to me were like, ever, it's hot. And I'll like, it's, it's hot outside. And it's I, really I think hot. Nothing but agree, because it, yeah, was it was really hot. It was really hot. Um, so Finnegan's was fun. It's always fun. Um, I just needed mm-hmm. water at that point. Like, I had, I had like three i had like four beers over like five hours so yeah. i just needed li- like water in my system i think i was on um, my about fourth blue moon by the time you got there in an mm-hmm. hour and a half mm-hmm. or so so that was that was the start of of my um not remembering much of that night <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah mistakes were made joe mistakes were made well no no they're not they're not mistakes they're mistakes, glorious sorry. decisions so um our first house was that The Shining? It was The Shining because we it was um, the Shining. both of us were pretty – we were pretty giddy. I mean we were just jumping yeah. up and down. We were just – I was literally jumping up and down. Yeah. 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 And just waiting there outside Finnegan's and we just – you're like, is that the music? Is that the – oh, that's the music now. That's the music. that's the music. Here it comes. And here we go. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So The Shining – um, that oh, is my number two house. Number, t- uh, I think it was my number 
three. You know what? I probably should have had my rankings up here in front of me, but I didn't because I am. I don't prepare. You're a noob. Yeah, I am. <laughs> straight up. Just straight up. So you want to keep talking about it, I'll bring up my rankings. I think it was like my number two or number three or something like that. Yeah, I'm bringing up my rankings on Inside Universal. I, I did that too. post. Yeah. As where, did I. Where is mine? Where are mine? Somewhere around <sighs> here. But yeah, Shining. Um, Absolutely incredible. Um, the, the exterior, the snowing. I always love that snow effect that they do. The snow it's effect's just... great. What really sold me on that completely and utterly, no questions asked, was that first Wendy. Um, yeah. Just her yeah. coming. She looks like she came out of the movie, and her holding that bat and just throwing it around was just – it was like, oh, my God. This is insane. This is just like I'm in the movie. And she, she looks spot on. She just – she's wearing the right clothes. She's holding it. She's like <gasps> – Yeah. Just everything's great. Um, you tripped over uh, the, the groundskeeper. The oh, yeah. Time. Yeah, I, I totally did. <laughs> I did not see the groundskeeper. I thought he came out first. In the, I think it was the first – was the first room that was Wendy and then the second room was that – I think he'd come yeah. out once for a scare, and then you just saw his... Well, I didn't see his dead body, and that was my issue, because I... Well, I tripped over him mm-hmm. um, in the room after that. Uh, just so cool. Yeah, and <sighs> then the, and then there, there's the rotating uh, the rotating Jack there. Mm. That's so cool. Like, yep. he kind of... It's like two scare actors there who line up and just walk through. That's so good. Yeah. Um, okay, so my rings... It was my number three, and I think I dinged oh. at one point. I think I dinged at one point, because... Mm-hmm. It was, I think, I think I've read Seth, uh, Seth Kubersky's about, read something about this, about the prosthetic head. Mm-hmm. And it just, it was, it was a, like a, it wasn't even five head. It was a six or seven head. Like the prosthetics <laughs> were just, whoa, it was so, they were so weird. I know Jack Nicholson. The, yeah. I know Jack Nicholson has kind of, you know, the forehead on him, but geez. Yeah. It it's dialed it back a little bit. It's, it's a little rough with the prosthetics, but it yeah. look, I think they look better than the masks. In Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Hands um, down. So that's kind of my thing. Um, and also, uh, Danny. Danny Boy. Danny. Danny Boy. Forever. It's going to be stuck in my head. Like, that's my gold. The, I think that, Yeah, I think there's two quotes from this Halloween Horror Nights. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. We're going to be spoiling everything. So you guys oh, better, yeah. like, put oh, yeah. this out. Spoiler so, alert. like, so, like, everyone else, just get out if you've not heard this yet. If you've not been yeah. to the event yet. Or if, you ha- yeah. if you're not going, we're just going to spoil it for you. Yeah, so, just, just slap a big old spoiler tag on this, on this bitch. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but everything in the house is great. Uh, the twins to... That's awesome. That, the, that, uh, that, was it that mirror scare or whatever? They, like, it looks yeah. like they're down the hall and they come out the other... Oh, my God. Yeah. The, got uh, me so good. The blowjob bear is there. <laughs> yeah. um, the uh, the I am elevator. so the um, they actually did the elevator. They actually did it. They did I it. Was so impressed. I wanted to. I just wanted to stand in front of it for a good few minutes. I just want to take it all in. I want to see it without the strobes and like right. during like the unmasking the whore and just see it like yeah. all running because yeah. it's just it's it's incredible. They did it. They actually mm-hmm. did it. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so that's the coolest thing in the world. Uh, I like, uh, geez, everything's great in this house. Absolutely fantastic. It's just like the movie. Yeah. Uh, you walk think, through the carpet. Uh, there's yep. the, um, if you get the Here's Johnny scene perfectly, it's insane. It's so mm-hmm. good. Everything is great about this house. I love yeah. it. I wish I could do it more. My only issue with the house is the is the actually counted seven-minute exterior queue. Oh, my God. Just to walk I- walk cue back and forth back and forth in front of the uh the uh the concert plaza there right i almost was, forgot about it i oh thought i thought i had it tucked in the dark corners of my mind nope we're ripping it out right now welcome it's to halloween just, horror nights oh my gosh that was a oh. that was spooky all on its own yeah that was seven minute walk that's and that's still not the end of the queue that's just no. like that crazy out and back out and back but man whew, it was, was the infinity queue Ooh, holy crap because yeah. what happens is you think you've been walking for a few minutes and you're like oh i must be like halfway there by now no nope, you're maybe like two or three of those switchbacks in yeah and you're like really mm-hmm. come on it's nuts um that's that's why express was so worth it you just for that just to just go around <laughs> all that crap yeah oh my gosh i'm, I'm thinking about express next year like mm. just to get it just but again so my thing is like 
I is like the problem with Express is like you either feel like you're abandoning abandoning people and saying bye, I'm gonna go be rich, mm-hmm. or like <laughs> it's like, it's like this weird thing. Like everyone has to be on Express, or no one can be on Express. So I, I, it, you know, by, by, by the end of the night, you know, I was with you most of the night. Yeah, all those nights, you know, I had Express. You know, fortunately, you didn't, and it was just like. All right, well, I got to go make this worth it, so see yeah. ya. <laughs> so you peace out, like, the last 90 minutes and do every house. Yeah. Which I think is a good way to do it, so I'm thinking yeah. about Express next year. So I mean, you don't need Express. I, I, there was a lot of people, you you know, using their Express as soon as it opened, and it was just like, what are you oh, doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. That Remember, we, they did that for The Shining, and we're like, yeah. guys, get out of here. Just you can't, you don't know it. how to, you don't know how to right do now. this. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you don't buy Express for Halloween Horror Nights and you do Stay and Scream, you could do every house. Oh, yeah. Easily. E- yeah, easy. You can do all the houses. You could probably do all the shows, and you could probably do a ride or two. And, mm-hmm. like, sit down and get some food and drink and relax. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, but, yeah, so The Shining. Man, that was a good house. I am Very so good. happy about that house. Yep. Um, the next house we did was Dead Water, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. Dead Water. Uh. Deadwater is the much hyped uh, Thanks USA Today house. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the one uh, with the crazy facade, which is indeed crazy. It is super impressive. <laughs> everything about uh, this, everything about that house is very impressive and well designed. Mm-hmm. Uh, the issue I have is that it's not necessarily the scariest house, yeah. and um, it's sh- it's pretty short. That's very short. Yeah. Um, which again is not a problem if you pack it all together. Mm-hmm. But it feels like if they just chopped off half of – or like the last third of uh, Ghost Town last year mm-hmm. and then just said, okay, we're done. It's like, well, yeah. I mean, it's still really pretty and there's still some scares, but it feels like it's not condensed. It feels like a part of a house. Right. The scares are sort – they were kind of spread apart. They, mm-hmm. um, And yeah, I went through – I did the Unmasking the Horror yeah. thing too. So I had a better idea of the, the actual detail – that went into that thing because, you know, at night you're just going through there in a conga line. You can't really maybe mm-hmm. take in some of that that really specific stuff. But going through there in the you know morning with the lights on to be able to take pictures, it's it's awesome. That's why I think it just shot up a bit in mine. I, I think I only have it at like five, but still. I have it at four, so it's higher than higher for me yeah. than you, which is weird. My, <laughs> one, one of my big complaints is they were talking about that bog scene. And the right. bog scene feels like it was just a bunch of those mats that they have the um, the like the security personnel stand on at City yep. Walk, and yep. they just put them down, and then everyone kicked them around, and they're just like, yeah, it, it was just really weird and didn't work. And right, I, it, it's, I there there's something in my mind when it was described to me, and it was not that at all. It's funny. Again, going through the unmasking the horror tour when we're going to that bog scene, I'm just like, is there something wrong with the flooring? What what's happening here? I'm like. Because it didn't, it fe- didn't, you know, the, the the tour guide pointed it out and said, "Oh, it's supposed to feel like you're walking in a marsh." I'm like, "No, it feels like I'm about to trip over like a bubble or something." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that that's definitely my issue. So I'm like, "What the heck's going on? Is it me? Is it the, the is it designed <laughs> this way? Is it the house? I don't know." <laughs> um, but yeah, that's definitely one of the disappointing parts. But hey, I like the um the second room being sideways and. Oh, that was those so cool. scares! That's great. The exterior is fantastic. Everything I like about the house. Um, fun fact. Fun fact yep. about that sideways room, right? So they have that one little um, walkthrough that you know normally is for scare actors coming out, scaring you. Mm-hmm. Um, if a person, since, since it has to be, you know, these has to have to be ADA compliant. So if a person is in a wheelchair, they mm-hmm. can actually use that little cut through, that little scare actor hallway. Yeah. They have um. They do that with uh. They did that with before for a lot of houses where they have a cut. I'm through. sure they have it at every. Yeah, it was. I thought it was super interesting when I when we were walking through there. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then they'll tell this character, oh yeah, they're oh, they're in this hallway. Go scare them there. Like, oh, awesome. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, uh, Dead Water. I like it a lot. Um, it just it doesn't deliver the scares necessarily. I was looking for. Right. right. And so a big thing also this year for Halloween Horror Nights was like cues inside. Of like the sound stages, mm-hmm. um, Dead Water had one, and American Horror Story had one. Um, yeah, I felt like interior cl- cues, which is really bizarre. So yeah, uh, I, I guess if you're inside mm-hmm. in the air conditioning, I guess it's better than outside. But it just sort of it does it does screw with your head a bit. Like oh, I'm almost inside, and then no, no, you're not. Well, and also it, you they immediately drop the lights down, so you're tripping over like people in oh, front of you. True, that's which true. Sucks. Um, so that's kind of my problem with that. But eh, you know. 
Yeah. So, uh, did what do we do next? We try to do Fallen, but that didn't right. Happen. I think I think we bailed on Fallen. Mm-hmm. Um, and we walk through. I want to say we walk through. We walk through Trick. Uh, what do we do? Did we do did Ash we do, after that? I think we did Ash. I think we did Ash. Rich Evil Dead. Yeah. Yeah. So we did Ash. That's my number five. That is, is Ash. My, that is my number six. Six. Man, I'm just ra- ranking everything higher than you. Shit. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'll, I'll have a couple surprises in here, I think, eventually. I yeah. Well, I think I know what your number four is going to be that's pushed everything down. But anyway, mm-hmm. Ash, um, I like the show a lot. I've seen a bit of it. Me um, too. I, we, I had a blast in that house. It was a lot of fun. I mean, getting all those jokes. Like, I've, I've seen the show, too. Mm-hmm. And I, I thought it was hilarious. I, I got a couple good scares in there, but I definitely laughed more than I, uh, more than I jumped. Yeah. And, like, and, and that's, and that's yeah. just the thing with that house. I mean, and you also kind of have to watch the show a bit just to understand, you know, what you're seeing sometimes. Because that morgue scene in particular, I cracked up so much mm-hmm. when I saw Ash's head up that dude. Yeah. <laughs> I won't spoil the rest, but oh my God, there's a scene in that show. I was almost retching and laughing at the same time. It was so funny. Yeah, and they did it in the house. So I was I was shocked they did it in the house. I'm like, they got away with it. Awesome, super. I love um, it. Of course, one of my favorites is still when they when you're in the uh, when you're in the shack and Ash is there and uh, what's her name, the policewoman. Um, oh yeah, as she's, oh. As, as she's a deadite, she's possessed yep. and she just jumps out of the door and says, "Hello, pussies!" And I'm like, <laughs> "Fuck yes!" This, what? <laughs> this is the, this is. Oh man, there's like two house. There's like two house quotes of the year. And like yeah. that's one of them is like hello puthers and like yeah Donny Danny boy <laughs> like those are the two ones that are just like mm. yeah um but yeah. man that, that and that that's a pretty good scare too but like what a lot of people commented on with um Ash versus Evil Dead is like Ash is a comedy character and he's the highlight of the house so he's never attacking you and right. he's never scaring you. But he's always cocky, so it's always someone else that's scaring you or him, and he's trying to get them, which I'm more than okay with, because that's the point. Yeah, um, he's he's a, he's a constant distraction um, scare, yeah. basically. You're, you're you're looking at him for all the jokes and everything, and all of a sudden this you know crazy demon just shoots off to the side of you, and then you're like, oh my god, exactly. But, yeah, yeah, and then uh, there's the kid who jumps out and says, Ashley Slash is gonna kill us all, and you know, all that <laughs> yeah. stuff. That's a good yeah. one. The puppet um, at the end too. The puppet at the end. Yeah. I'm uh, of course you know the party in Jacksonville. Oh my goodness! At the end that too, was like, awesome. The end scene, man, that's a good one. <laughs> um, so I was talking to one of my college friends mm-hmm. this weekend. That actually, I was like texting him up. I was, I was still on my vacation high, so I'm like, I need to continue my vacation high. I'm going to text everybody I know to see when they can hang out immediately. So <laughs> I texted him, and I'm like, Yeah, I did Halloween Horror Nights. He's like, Oh yeah, I saw the photos. Blah blah. blah. So I mentioned to him casually, Ash versus Evil Dead, and. He and he's like, "Oh, my college roommate is sisters with Dana DeLorenzo, who plays no Kelly." Shit. Yes. And I'm like, "What?" <laughs> 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 so that's my uh 6 series of Kevin Bacon right there. <laughs> there you go. Ah, oh, you win. You win yeah. this one. You win this one. Oh my yeah, goodness. That, that was crazy. Awesome. So, I'm like, "Whoa, that's that's awesome." And I'm like, "Yeah, we we need to watch this show." <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but I love I, the house is fun. It is a very, yeah. very fun house. Um, it lacks something I can't put my my finger on necessarily. But man, the, that's a I good mean, it was, house. It, was, it really is. But it's just it really is just a collection of scenes. There's nothing really tying everything together unless you've seen the show. And I yeah. think that's just what I think that's what hurts it a little bit is just you have to know the the source material in order to get a lot of those in jokes and a lot of those yeah just those little things. It's one of these house. It's one. It's a house I would rate like three and a half stars, or maybe even four stars if you know the like the the show. It's like right. it, it's well executed. It looks gorgeous. There's some decent scares. It's funny, um, but if you don't know like the the source material, that's the problem. So, Ash versus Evil Dead. So next up, we uh, was a very important uh, ceremony for us, which is Dufftoberfest. Yes, got to Dufftoberfest. Oh. I got to see uh, one of my be- one of my good close friends, uh, Patrick. Uh, got to hang out with uh, Brian, Drew, and Andy at from Inside Universal. Hang out with Captain Tom. Uh, pour half my beer over Brian accidentally. 
which, <laughs> which I got karma, yeah. which I got karma back for on Sunday when some lady bumped into me in the invasion scare zone and poured half my IPA down my shirt. Not so, me, Brian. I you, Brian. No, no, yeah, yeah, other Brian. Yeah, yeah other Brian. Um, yeah, Brian, the ginger Brian. <laughs> um, Irish Brian. Uh, he's yeah. So we we hung out at Moe's forever. Oh, Man, it was that a was time. that was a great time. Yeah, that was a great time. We just quoting all of the uh, the show scenes on the yeah. TV. <laughs> yeah, Chateau Latour, eighteen eighty six. And it was, it was, you know, it's my first time meeting a lot of those guys, and they just cannot mm-hmm. have been cooler. Yeah, I mean that that's why I like hanging out with them. Is like and, and hanging mm-hmm. out, like not to brag, also, but like that's my thing. Is just like let's have fun. Like yeah. that that's what it is. It's not anything else besides drinking and having fun and chilling you know right so a- as we were there also uh was the first night they brought out the stools back out to duff gardens that's right we and we were them. and we were standing there and I, I leaned over to brian from inside universal and i go we're seeing a policy change in, <laughs> in person <laughs> <laughs> he's like yeah so we had a good time there mm. uh what was our next house i do not remember um, yeah, that point of the night starts to get a little blurry yeah, for me. So, um, <laughs> do you, do, should we, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do something different now. Uh, we, okay. we covered all those houses. Let's start going around the events counterclockwise, starting from most. Okay. Um, and we'll, and we're going to do okay. the houses and then we're going to do the scare zones and then we're going to do the shows. So okay. the next house up is Scarecrow. So this Scare, is my number one. Scarecrow is my number one. Also number one, one of the. Worst scares, I think this in Blumhouse. We'll talk one about one of the best later, scares. You mean a, a best scares? Oh my gosh! I it was one of the boo holes. I just it was th- the boo holes in that house are so well hidden. Mm-hmm. Like, I can usually point out a boo hole pretty well, but there's this one that just got me. As soon as I was walking by it, I probably jumped back a good two or three feet. Mm-hmm. Super intense, super claustrophobic. Mm-hmm. The 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 costuming, the makeup, just. The types of scares, everything just worked on every single level. Mm-hmm. I love so the good. exterior so much. Oh my gosh, it's so good. That exterior is gorgeous. The music mm-hmm. and the fog and the corn. And when just, the wind starts blowing through that corn, you know, the corn stalks and everything. Yeah. And you just get that. I was there Sunday night with Patrick and Brandon Glover. And we it was a little windy out. And that mm-hmm. wind... Uh, I don't want to say the turbine, but you know the wind thing they got out there, the windmill or whatever. Yeah, the windmill. That small thing. That yeah, was yeah. it. Was it was it looks like it was on a motor, like it was uh-huh. it was oscillating, it was spinning, it was like doing the whole creepy thing where it's like going left, right, up to you know. It, it it looked like it was on a motor, but it was just the normal wind, and I was like, oh, that's super yeah. cool. They actually made that's... one, and it looks gorgeous, and mm-hmm. it was fantastic. Um, the house has amazing scares like there mm-hmm. and not only that the cast is working their ass off oh my goodness yeah. um i've man whoo that's that's a good cast um also in there uh so the problem we had i think our first run through scarecrow i think it was you was it my first run i forget no patrick one, and i yeah it was with you and it was me and patrick but you mm-hmm. were up a front a bit remember because mm-hmm. we did mm-hmm, the high yeah. five thing Right. It was like it, this was for AP previews, and we had a problem where people wouldn't progress through the house, and we were just standing there for a while. Yeah. So we had her- terrible pacing, but mm-hmm. once that was uh, taken care of, man, that house is great. Like just walking through it and getting everything, absolutely yeah. A plus, A plus. Mm-hmm. Cannot recommend this house enough. It's the number one house. Um, definitely one of the best houses I've been through uh, at Halloween Horror Nights. Period. Over the past mm-hmm. four years. Um. Everything's great. Uh, the crow scene, and then oh the, my God. the 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 two part crow scene is intense and amazing. <laughs> the it's, it's, ending it's houses, is insane. Yeah, it's one of those houses where you're like, I want to get out of here as fast as possible because I'm afraid I might die here. Like I'm afraid that my heart just might stop on my fall over. Yeah, like that, that's how intense that house is. Which is going to be it, really fun because Nick is scared of scarecrows. Hey, you know what, Nick? I'm sorry, bud, but you 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 may you may die. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. That's sort of, <laughs> yeah, this that the, and again, what's funny is because like for Halloween Horror Nights twenty four, like Dollhouse of the Damned was like my thing. It's like I can't do this again, mainly yeah. because of the poop smell. 
Oh well, yeah, that was pretty awful. Um, but uh, I was everyone's like, "We're gonna do Dollhouse," and I'm like, "I'm not gonna do Dollhouse." And so I, <laughs> I did that no, one. You. I did that once. I saw a walkthrough, so I know what's going on. But yeah, mm-hmm. that was that was an intense house, also. But anyway, mm-hmm. Scarecrow definitely number one this year. No questions yes. asked. After that is Hive. Hive. Oh, Hive. Um, Hive is my number eight. It is also my number eight. Woo, nice. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the cast is doing well with Hive. I think so. Yep. Um, my problem with Hive is it just, there's not enough there. Mm-mm. And I feel like it just doesn't scare you enough. And I'm not, I, 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 there's something about it that just does not click with me. Yeah, um, those, uh, like, so, like, they had a cool thing. They had those really cool glowing faces and contact lenses. Those they, were awesome. They yeah. need they need to do something with that more, but instead they just kind of they just need to amp it up a bit. Like it was, yeah, it just seemed kind of tame. I, I, I'm not sure if that's the right word or not, but it's it was you know you, you hit you hit a vampire, okay, mm-hmm. all right, you hit another vampire, like you know a minute later, like oh, all right, cool, there's another vampire. It's just it wasn't it wasn't a good variety of them, I guess. I don't know. It was it was it was the same thing. It was sort of the same rooms every time. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you could tell it was The Conjuring. I mean, just straight yeah. up. It was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this is The Conjuring house. Absolutely. And But, um, I mean, another thing also with Hive is, like, it's still a pretty decent house. Like, any like other – in, in a bad year, this would still be in the tops. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's – I mean, the, the one scare that got me actually pretty good was the one on stilts, and then there was a little person underneath. That one was pretty cool. I was I like, for, that's I forget which one that one was. I that was – I can't remember if it was near the end or – so near the end, it was just a big vampire on stilts. It, it was all a timing thing with that one too. Oh, um, I think. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he, just, he would, he was a little coming, vampire would just come out underneath. Yeah, he would come out like he would come at you like mm-hmm. the uh, stilt walkers in um, uh, Tomb of the Ancients last year. Remember? Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. a similar scare to that, and yep. then like a little guy would come out on like the right hand side or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so that was good, but and for, I mean, for, for what they had to work with, I was, it was better than I was expecting, Yeah, but still it was for such a strong house lineup this year. It just got overshadowed. Mm-hmm. And I think that's the big theme this year is like, Hey, a bunch of really good houses. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. So hive, um, I think it still can move up. Yeah. Um, over the, over time. Um, and I think the cast can do well. But it's just it is what it is right now, and I and also no absolutely zero exterior on this yeah. house. Um, that's kind of a that's also a negative to me. I think it may have been a little higher if they actually did something cool outside. But oh, and they kept on saying, you know, it was like oh, it's set in the eighties. I'm like, there is nothing in that house that said There's anything about the eighties. Nothing, nothing, absolutely zero. Like, I don't know what they were throwing. To... Throwing some like I don't Prince know. Or... Betamax like, or print, yeah, Betamax. Yeah. Tear, tears for Fears, something. I don't know. Just <laughs> yeah, I man. If, imagine if they kind of threw some eighties music in there randomly. It would be it would be so cool. You're you're, you're walking into a, an eighties house party, say, and then yeah. all of a sudden, like you're you're in the wrong house. It's this abandoned house that you go into to have a house party, and all of a sudden these vampires attack. That'd be see. That's, there you go. That's a fucking great premise. You Holy see? shit! You just <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Oh uh, man, that's a really good premise for a house. Because what I was thinking, what this was going to be when they said, "Oh, it's going to be '80s," I thought it was going to be, "Oh, it's going to be Vamp '85" as opposed to Vamp '55." That was the rumor, and that's what you know. That's what we all read, but it just came across as, "Oh, these are these literally these guys all literally look like Nosferatu." Every last one of them. That's all they are, Nosferatu. Mm-hmm. Yep. But anyway, so actors the... actors still a solid. So yeah. So the next house is. Uh, one that I did not believe people when they said it was good. I did not believe Drew when he said it was good. I don't think anybody did. I I was like, oh man, that crazy Brooklynite Drew, he's at it again. My number three house this year, and uh, definitely one of my favorites, is Blumhouse. It's my number four. Cool. Um, my number four, yep. Okay, I think I'm starting to get an idea of where you're going to start ranking things. I think I know. Also, I think I messed up. I think I, Asher's Evil Dead is actually seven, not six. I screwed up there. Seven? Anyway. Uh, seven? Yeah. It, so, seven? It, it, wow. I'll, I'll, explain, I'll, explain, I'll explain what came up as number six, and I'll explain why. But okay. It's, they're basically almost interchangeable by six and seven. 
Okay, fair point. So a- anyway, Blumhouse. Blumhouse number three. Man, that's intense. That's yeah. an intense house. They did some really good work in that house. I am incredibly. Um, I was exi- shocked at the amount of scare actors in that house. Like, yeah, there's a lot in there. Literally and, shocked. <laughs> and, and great timing. They yeah. all have great timing. They don't take yeah. many breaks. They do no. a lot of stuff. Um, the only weak part of that house is the purge. Absolutely. Um, and 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 that's cl- very clear why because it was Ouija originally. So yeah. Um, yeah. So I God. Just and everything with Insidious is a plus. That ending is intense. I got so freaked out. I think it was. I think it was behind you and was it you and Patrick? I was behind, or is it you and Felipe? I can't really remember. Um, Something. I was behind. I was. I know I was behind you, mm-hmm. and I had one scare off to the right of me, and then one scare off to the left, mm-hmm. and here I was stuck in the middle with you. Yeah. I got so freaked out. It was. It was just a one-two punch of these Insidious scare actors in such good makeup. Yeah. Such good. In, this great timing. Oh, uh, it's this is the other house I was talking about fighting with scare for, with the, for the best scare I've had. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I figured I figured was, it was this house. I had to figure yeah. it was this house. I mean, yeah, it's really good. Like it has no reason to be this good, but it's that. Good. No, it really, I, think, I mean, just be, being where it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, chance from last year just left a stink over the entire place. Yeah. And gosh, they really. Ugh. Well, they figured really they figured out how to do a tent house mm-hmm. after Halloween, and I right. feel like they've kind of perfected the smaller tent house with this. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm very excited about this house. Um, the cast is a plus. They Absolutely. work their asses off in this. They scare everyone they can. Mm-hmm. They are having, and guess what? They're having fun doing it, and that's oh, the best definitely. part. That's the best Definitely. part. They love this house. Like whoever is like the production, like the uh, like uh, the director, or production lead, or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, for this house or ops lead for this house, they're, they're pumping these guys up every night. You, they're they're like they're all probably doing like you know like they're just, just doing lines of cocaine. They're like <laughs> they're like it's like they have like hookers everywhere. You know oh, they're yeah. having they're having a great time and they're gonna go jump in that house and they're gonna. Grew with you the whole time. They're just they're the rock stars. They are the rock stars of this entire. Yeah, and like year, just year just like life. that ending scene where just everyone's popping out at you mm-hmm. and just there's just mm, that's that's good. That's a oh that's stuck in my head. It's yeah. really good. Mm-hmm. It's really really good. Um, so Blumhouse, my number three. Brian's number four. Number four. Number four. So actually, now I have to think a little bit. Do 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 do. Are we still doing houses? Or are we going? We're doing houses. So, so the I next think one, the fallen, is the fallen. Yep. So the so, fallen, rated for me, is number seven. Number two for me. Wow. Okay. So number I, two. I want you to talk first on this. Okay. All right. So this is also one of the houses that I went through on the unmasking the horror tour. So I got a pretty good idea of where the scares are coming from, but the tour guide didn't tell me everything. Um, and just some of the detail and just the, I think the dummies and the mannequins themselves look just awesome to me. Okay. Um, and then they actually did tell me too about some of those, uh, like the, the, the bungee or the, uh, the, the flying scare and the plank scare. I'm like, okay, cool. That sounds awesome. It sucks. I know mm-hmm. all this now, but when I, I think it wasn't the first time I went through, it was, pr- it didn't, I didn't have good timing. The second time I went through, I remember almost clutching the person in front of me because like I, I didn't see the plank scare in, in, in action the first time. I didn't even notice the guy up there. But all of a sudden, this dude just came falling right at my face. I'm like, "Holy shit!" Mm-hmm. And I that got me so good. And I just I like I like the design of it, it. And is that in the last third of the house, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It was right after the one where the dude's on the um, bungees and he's flying at you. That's also yeah. that one also got me good ones too. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just I think it's just a, I had good timing in one of the runs I had. That's why it shot up so much. So um, my, my oh, sorry, can continue. What I was going to say was I also had a better understanding of what the theme and the story behind the house was because the tour guide actually explained it because I had read a couple of things were like, oh, yeah, it's a thing versus angels and demons. But no one knew who the you know, the good guys were, the bad guys were. Mm-hmm. Were they everybody? So all of these scare actors are all the bad guys. So basically these demons overran this whatever church base or church or whatever. And they basically killed all the, they, they've already killed all the angels. So there's mm-hmm. really no angel scare actors in there. Mm-hmm. It's all demons. 
So mm-hmm. I, I think I think that's where the confusion sitting with some people is like, okay, so are all these bad guys, or am I supposed to see them battling each other? It's like, no, the devil, or the demons already won. Mm-hmm. You're basically just seeing them in a, some sort of torture chambers now. Yeah. So I think I had a better understanding of what that story was. I'm like, okay, that makes more sense. Because mm-hmm. what I was thinking of was what everybody was thinking is, oh, it's this giant battle still going on. Oh, battle's over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that so. and that uh, yeah, everyone thought it would be like. Um... Alien versus Predator or mm-hmm. the um, Freddy versus Jason houses. It's not right. It's not not at all. You're not in the middle. You're right. definitely. So my pro- reason why I ranked uh, Fallen Solo, I had a I've had multiple bad runs on this house. Mm-hmm. Um, I've seen the guys falling on you from miles away. Mm-hmm. I saw the bungee guys at the wrong times. Yeah, always terrible timing on that. And every other scare is just kind of boring or uninspired. Um, so that's yeah. my problem. Is and, and also, like, you could see a lot of this stuff from a mile away. And it just yeah. did not feel energetic or exciting. It just really was one of the, one of the more disappointing houses. Um, again, any, any other year, like, The Fallen is still way better than a lot of other bad houses I've seen. Um, mm mm-hmm. But man, yeah, it was just a real disappointment. So that was number seven for me. I think it's all about the timing in this one. It's just you either get the good timing, which I did on my second run, and mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff got me. And I really, I do, and I loved, I loved the design of everything. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I can understand if you don't get a good run in this house, it's 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 sort of like an all or nothing kind of house. Yeah, so it's low for me, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but hey, disagreements are fun. So that's right. Right. That's, agree to disagree. Yeah, that's our fun difference uh, thing. So I did not, I did not expect Fallen to be so high for you. Yeah. So clearly, my expectations are a little different. Mm. So after Fallen, I think the next house we need to talk about is American Horror Story. Yes. So this was actually my number six instead of fun fact. Yeah. It's also my number six. There you go. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder what our number nines could be. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> I couldn't. I just, I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Um, so you want to talk about American Horror Story real quick? Yeah, we can talk about it real quick. I, I'm, I, I like I'm going to, I'm going to run the, I'm going to run the P real quick. So you talk about it for like 30 seconds and I'll be right back. So American Horror Story, I, and again, it's one of the houses that I went through for my unmasking the horror and really, really cool walkthrough. We couldn't take any pictures, unfortunately. IP rights and all that, um, but a lot, still a lot of really good scares in there. Uh, the tour guide that we had didn't spoil a whole lot for us. She showed us a couple, like the the Santa one behind the mirror. Um, had no idea about the nun in the first scene. That got me really good. Uh, gosh, I don't. I tried watching the show, and I've seen a bit of Coven, and it was seemed pretty cool. So I understood a little bit of Coven, but Asylum and Roanoke sort of just went right over my head. Roanoke, especially, I have no idea what was going on in that one. Um, asylum was a bit more straightforward. You're in an insane asylum and all these people are crazy and all that. Um, so the scenes, goodness, what was the one scene in the asylum that got me pretty good or that one that was really cool. The, 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 the surgery scene with the was on off that woman's legs. I love, I love scenes like that where the actor sort of underneath the, um, actual mannequin or dummy part. That's I, I, such a cool effect. I, I, I know it's, I know that's just an effect, but it's just so, so neat. Um, and the Roanoke scene, well, the, the, sorry, the Coven scene had the weird ho- uh, dollhouse smell in mm-hmm. one of the scenes. It's the, the baby powder smell in one of them. Without the poop. Without the poop. Thank However, God. did you did you smell the in, one the one in the poop scene? It's the one where everybody's in a cage and the I, butcher. Gets... I was getting that, so I just held my breath the whole time. I, I the first time again through through the tour. Uh, the tour guide was telling us, "Oh yeah, this is the baby or the the baby powder room. This is the poop room, and this is the weed room." Um, oh, did boy. you not get? Uh, uh, okay, no, it wasn't right, weed. Know. It's it didn't smell like weed. It smelled like menthol. It was supposed to be weed. <laughs> if you saw the plants up close during during that tour, we got an up close view of that of that green room, green mm-hmm. room or whatever. Um, it was definitely yeah, it was definitely weed plants. It was. I hilarious. was picking up menthol on that, not weed. Interesting. I could I could see I could see it being menthol, but I could so see I'll be, Hey, do you know what? What I may have experience with weed. I did not pick up weed on that. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I, I have I have I I I'm, 
I can neither confirm nor deny my experience with that certain plant. And going through it, I'm like, okay, yeah, this sort of smells like it. But I could see where it may not. But believe me when I say the tour guide pointed it out and like, oh, these plants right here. Yeah, the we had to have um, I can't I don't remember. She said DEA or just some law enforcement official had to come through and expect inspect those. Make sure they weren't real. Cool. I was I was like, oh, weird. Well, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. You <laughs> I guess you can't hide in there. Or- yeah. So like, yeah, the uh, I thought they were tobacco plants. Mm. Um, I guess they're the wacky tobacco. Hey, the am I right? Tobacco uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I just got the menthol vibes. I did not get weed in there at Interesting. all. Interesting. And and like I've I I I know weed when I smell weed. I'm the first <laughs> one to say that. Didn't get that vibe. Um, I, I guess the thing is, it wasn't um. Piney? It wasn't very good weight, apparently. Piney? Yeah, man, that was some really was, low... That was some real dank shit right there. That it, was, it was uh, that was some uh, some uh, stems and seeds. And yeah. just, like, some real, real, real... Um, God, what's the lowest kind of... Not that we know what the weed smells like. What is the life, lowest... Like, obviously. Like, I mean, like, you got dank stuff, you got the mids. I think it's and like... Then, oh, gosh. What's the lowest she, really? Uh, sh- uh, uh, sheaf? Sheaf. No, no, it's... um. Sort of like just like uh yeah just the, it's the lowest not mids no mids or mids yeah. mids mids you got the dank stuff you got the mids and then you have you the, the swag swag was it swag uh what is gosh anyway not that we anywho know. not that not that we have any knowledge of this the stems and seeds are the lives of the dope so if any law enforcement officials are listening we have no idea what any of this smells like nor we have any experience with any of it all right okay cool moving and, on and if we <laughs> and if we do it's all for legal reasons yes. Um, well, I mean, we have to persecute all the people. Like, we have to smell this so we can say, yes, that's what those people were smelling. Yeah. With smoking. I mean, uh, right. in, a, as we all rat out all of our friends and family. Definitely. And, and people we love. Anyway, point all my, is. All my loved ones are in jail. I don't know. I mean, that's why. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a rat. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Yeah, that, that's why you got to hang out with me, right? I mean, jeez. <laughs> You're next, Joe. A lot of enemies. Got a lot of enemies. Um. <laughs> uh, Man, who, who who'd have known we we would have gone in some? <laughs> oh man, <laughs> who'd have known? Thanks, Kendrick. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, American Horror Story for me. Uh, that Q line's weird. Um, yeah. uh, I like the house. It's my number six. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Mm-hmm. It's good. Um, one of my, one of my tweets that has gotten really a lot of comments on and a lot of people liking and retweeting was going, um, was basically, was a tweet saying, uh, uh, asylum, American Horror Story Asylum. Let's Mm -hmm. project, (coughs) excuse me, let's project, (coughs) wow, the titles on a window and it's like American Horror Story Roanoke. Yep. No, no, American Horror Story uh, Coven. Coven, Coven was, was in that uh, picture uh, was that yeah, let's frame. Yeah, make right? it like a, look like a picture frame. Yeah. And then it's like American, American Horror Story Roanoke. Fuck it. Put on an insignia, like, 32-inch TV. Go to, and, so, so, someone, someone go to Best Buy, buy a 32-inch or, or 24. I don't even know how big it was. So it, it, look looked like, it looked like a 24. So, yeah. I said, so I was like, so I followed up with that. I'm like, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a 24, not a 32. I actually looked back on it as I turned around, and it is actually an Insignia TV. <laughs> like, I was looking. I kind of wanted to look around the box a little bit. So I'm like, I got this joke going on. I should look at it. Okay. Okay, yep. That's definitely Insignia television. <laughs> but, oh, God. Yeah. Um, hey, Joe, I got I to gotta pee real quick, yeah, too. I'll be right I, back. I, I, got your, I got your message. You, yeah, okay, cool. I didn't, I didn't, okay. Yeah, I'll, 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 talk, I'll talk for a second. All right, good, good, good. So um, I think one of the things I'll talk about real quick while Brian is taking a quick restroom break, you know, do, 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 do. Um, real quick about the, the uh, food and beverage options. Uh, I did not get any of the, the special food or bev. Um, I got the Bavarian pretzel, as I do. Uh, pretty good. It's basically the pretzel they offer at uh, Fast Food Boulevard, which is one of the better theme park pretzels. Not that soft pretzel, more fluffy, pretty delicious. Comes with spicy mustard and some spicy cheese. Really good. Um, for drinks, um, I had the Liquid Fear and Liquid Courage. 
I prefer the black, the darker one. I don't know what's called. I want to say that's fear. Um, that one's definitely the better one. Um, I got the blinky cup with the mix, the mix together and that dual chamber thing. Um, incredibly awkward to drink mainly because the straws don't work. Uh, they really don't like you always drink one more of one than the other. So that's my problem there. Um, Dufftoberfest is delicious. Didn't have pizza fries. Anyway, I'm just talking about food right now. The food, food and yeah. Options. The food and beverage <laughs> yes. options. Um, they had I, a, I, a really good IPA at the Wharf, which is that bar next to uh, Lombards. That's a great little hideaway. Great hideaway. Yeah, that's the new. So nice. That's, that's the new Poor Judgment Crew location. Uh, there no, you go. no one ever goes. Right. Um, very quiet, but it's a full liquor bar with a good beer selection. Mm-hmm. And um, they had a great IPA from – I think it was Spooky Tooth is what it's called or something like that. Okay. Um, fantastic IPA from local, local IPA. Really, really delicious. Uh, way better way better than 862 or even Rebel IPA or anything like that. It's one of the better beers offered. So if, you're li- if you like IPAs, you like craft beers, uh, check out the Wharf and see what IPAs they have on tap. They're probably going to be pretty delicious, I do have to say yeah. so myself. And so, expect a short line and not very crap. I mean, just just the area itself is just really nice. Not, not even a short line. You're gonna expect no, no line. Yeah. Um, line. Also, lo- a bunch of tables outside to just chill. Yeah, and it's outside, so it's like yeah. beautiful outside. And oh, just it was gorgeous. It was you nice. Can, I can tell you what. Yeah, I've had you, some. I've had some hot and muggy, like ninety degree, hundred percent humidity, just nights in Orlando. Those nights, I tell you what, gorgeous. Yeah. So, and, and at that bar at the uh, wharf, you can just overlook um, Diagon Alley. Men in Black, Simpsons, mm-hmm. uh, Central Park, Transformers. When the power's on. Gorgeous. When the power's on, <laughs> which <clears throat> we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right. So I think the last house we can talk about, I would say, I'm going to take a wild bet, your number nine house, my oh. number nine house. How did you guess? I mean, come Let's on. talk about Jigsaw. So... The Games of Saw. or what? I think <sighs> that's the official name because that so, sounds stupid I, enough to... I, I, no, I don't saw. Know. I'm sorry. Saw the games of Jigsaw. Yeah. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, I, I went. I went through this house once, and I think it was Saturday night. I finally went through it after I sort of pieced out. I'm like, all right, I got to use all these express mm-hmm. things for all the houses. Yeah. I went through it. I'm like, you know that scene in Wayne's World when they're in front of the green screen and they come up with Delaware. Yeah. Basically, you know, hi, I'm in Saw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just. <sighs> I so I, I I got a, I got a couple of the traps go off in front of me like the one the the, the, the torso ripping one I thought that was pretty mm-hmm. neat but other than that it was just the same pig dude jumping out at the curtains that you could plainly see from a mile away every so often I don't know so my um thing with saw is I saw that no pun intended um Sunday night with Patrick and uh, mm-hmm. one of his friends we were wa- we were like okay we're gonna I'm gonna do this house it said a, a sixty minute wait we only waited thirty five minutes thank oh, God. there you go thank God. Yeah. Um, so it's so I, weird how I, long I the lines a, got for that. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> um, so this is also the house where they were testing the uh, the ticketing system because they wanted to make sure people didn't – so everyone saw this and I'm like, oh, they're going to do cueless things for Halloween Horror Nights. I'm like, no, they're not. So uh, like, that would be bad. No, it, they, they, they're not. Basically okay. what it is <laughs> is um, it's just tickets to make sure people don't skip the line. Right. <laughs> okay. That's all it is. They're not doing cueless for Halloween Horror Nights. That's good. So drunky, drunky can drunk or whatever. <laughs> can do. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, uh, my uh, my um, <laughs> my inside universal review for Saw is let's play a game. Let's see if you can buy pizza fries at this event. So <laughs> like that's my feeling for Saw is <laughs> just like you walk in and you see the fucking drop ceiling for the backstage area of yeah. Shrek. And I'm like. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I know what we're working on now. And everything else is fine. It's mm-hmm. it's not the worst of Halloween Horror Nights. By far, like, even if you want to rate this, like, a two, two and a half star house, that's still better than some houses most years. So, like, I'm not going to hate on it too much, but man, this is not the best house this year. And nah. I'm I'm not feeling it from the scare actors. I'm not feeling it from the design. I'm not feeling it from their timing. I'm just not getting I, anything out of this house. I can't remember where I read it. It might have been on um, IU, but it was basically if people were saying it's just a zoo. You just you go in and you watch other people get ripped apart or something like that. You're like, oh, that's that's I 
What? Yeah. What? Why? Okay. What is this? I, I can <laughs> see that. It, it's a, it's a, it's a torture zoo because you're it's not torture. really getting you're not really getting scared all that much except when the pig guys show up and yeah. you're just watching other people get caught up in all that. It's just I don't know. A torture zoo. Other- torture yeah. zoo is a good show title. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few in my head, but torture zoo would be a good show title. <laughs> yeah, it's you just see a lot of stuff happening, but all the reset times are so slow. Yeah. Oh my god! If you don't hit it just right, like the one the one trap I saw was that torso ripping thing. Mm-hmm. I came in at the right time, the trap went off. I'm like, oh cool, all right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, but also like the problem is like I'm sorry, I'm saying like so much. My apologies again. Like like you know, ugh, like you know, whatever. I'm such, I'm such a valley girl. Oh. Um, Six beers deep. I'm surprised I'm not saying it more. Yeah, only six beers? For, well, actually, that's a lot of beer, but also, like, the Creeper. Like in an hour? Well, yeah, I, <laughs> I mean, the Creeper is 10%, and I've had two of them. Oh, so, well, there you go. So that's pretty delicious, I gotta say. Anyway. I think we... <clears throat> anyway, drinking, right? Am I right? <laughs> we'll, we'll, get to, we'll get you to your uh, Food and Bev review next. Okay. But for Saul, um, the problem I have is it's just... It's so slow to reload. You just feel like nothing happens. Mm-hmm. And all the guest activated triggers just don't work or are too slow. Right. Like a lot of the houses get way better when you're behind someone or you're in front of someone who is mm-hmm. absolutely petrified. Mm-hmm. I was in front of someone who was freaking the fuck out the whole time. <laughs> this is still my number nine house. <laughs> I will, I will, I will leave that at that. There you go. So, uh, I'm gonna list my number uh, ten, my my top nine houses, and you can do the same, Brian. Okay. Uh, just as the final review, uh, mm-hmm. final review uh, for for houses as of the second weekend in in Halloween Horror Nights: Scarecrow, The Shining, Blumhouse, Deadwater, Ash vs. Evil Dead, American Horror Story, Fallen, Hive, then Saw. And mine are, once again, Scarecrow, The Fallen, Shining, Blumhouse, Dead Waters, American Horror Story, Ash vs. Evil Dead, The Hive, and Saw. So, so, so pretty <clears throat> close. Yeah, pretty Hi- close. Hive and Fallen kind of switched a little bit. Right, yeah. And Fallen moved way up. Hive. Actually, I think the only thing that changes my my Fallen review is way low. But we still have everything else besides Fallen pretty much the yeah. same. Yeah, and again, it's that house just is all timing. Yeah, so okay, it's, it's a heavily timing appropriate house. So mm-hmm. there we go. Cool. Um, let's talk about some scare zones, shall yes. we? Yes, yes. Uh, one in so, particular. Um, scare zones this year were really weird. Yeah. So the problem scare zones have is very simple. Um, it's outdoors, which means they are uh, behooven to weather. Mm-hmm. Especially when bad weather comes before an event. Um, Especially, you know, this season where, you know, hurricanes show up. Yeah. All that. So a great example is for Halloween Horror Nights 24. They had a bunch of awesome uh, stilt walkers come out to the uh, uh, the dead water, uh, whatever Blood Bayou it was called. Um, that, okay. So they had stilt walkers in there. But when it rains, they can't use the stilt walkers. And that totally removes a lot of cool stuff there. Mm-hmm. So weather really does affect the scare zones. I mean, it's it is the most raw of raw like actual experiences and things are designed for because you can't it's you can't control all this stuff. You don't have a conga line. You don't have you, you can't control the weather. You can't control the atmospheric conditions. You can't have somebody in air conditioning. So you clearly have to have them with like like open costume. You get the idea. Like it's just mm-hmm. things and things and things. You're so limited with what you can do with scare zones. That being said, also with uh, Hurricane Irma coming around, the Universal made a decision. Hey, we're going to prioritize certain things for Halloween Horror Nights. One of those things is not scare zones. The other thing is right. not the permanent um is not the temporary stage for Academy of Villains. Right. Which we'll get to in a second. So scare zone scare zones this year are one of the weakest years, I want to say. Oh, definitely. Um, there are some highs. There's some real fucking oh. highs here, but there are some real, real lows. So oh. I feel oh. like my so including um a horde. Um, I'm mm-hmm. gonna include the horde with this. Me too. Uh, I totally agree with Inside Universal's uh, rankings on this, so I'm just gonna read from theirs. So number one, Scare Zone, 
is um, definitely uh, Alters of Horror. I'm just kidding. That's just fucking <laughs> well, it's, oh, it's, oh. Trick, it's trick or treat. What do you think it is? It's trick or treat. Oh, my it's goodness. Absolutely. Clearly, Hands down. It's the, it's the best. Um, trick or treat is in the Central Park area. It is is themed around the trick or treat movie. Amazing movie. It is. Absolutely. So good. Um, all the scare. Like, if, like, I have not seen the movie yet. I'll be the first oh. one to say. But what I did was I saw the trailer. I saw a few other videos from the movie, mm-hmm. and I immediately knew what was going on. And mm-hmm. I was like, "Yes, I know exactly what you are. You're yeah. you're those kids in the school bus. Mm-hmm. You're you're the prin- You're the vice principal. Yeah. You're Sam. I know exactly what's going on right now. Oh, so good. Um, this is one of the scares. Few scare zones with uh, triggers in it. So scare actors can activate triggers, which is awesome. Um, gorgeous scare zone. Holy shit. It looks just beautiful. Absolutely. The, just the lighting, the set design. So just... the, the last night I was going out there, I uh-huh. saw the flame bursts in the uh, giant oh, yeah. pumpkin. It only happens at, the, at certain times, and it doesn't happen yeah. all the time. But they're flame bursts. Yeah, I think on Saturday night when I, when I pieced out from you guys, I just mm-hmm. sort of stood there at the edge for like probably maybe like three or four minutes and it finally went off. I'm like, yes, okay, I can go on now. Yeah. Um, so cool. So uh, what's really cool about the uh, Scare Zone, they have stilt walkers, they have a lot of areas for them to hide, they have a bunch of demented trick-or-treaters to put it away. Without I'm not getting... ashamed to say that I don't I don't usually get scared in Scare Zones. I don't usually jump a whole lot. Yeah. Um, the kids with the little, you know, the little rattlers and their, and the, yeah. and their trick-or-treat bags, oh my god, got me so good. They're, they're, just, they're right really good. Me. They're yeah. really good. Um, the other uh, one of the points is the vice principal with the student who's poisoned by the by the the candy. He's he's so ch- gross, but so cool. <laughs> he's, he's choking up, and the scare actor uh, can like wield his knife at you guys, and then activate a guest trigger, and he, and the kid vomits with water. So funny. it's a gr- it's it's a great visual, man. That's yeah. that's so good. Yeah. Um, there's the. Uh, the older neighbor who comes at you with a bat. Yeah. Um, I think I was walking there with other Brian. No, mm-hmm. not not Brian. The other other Brian. Third Brian of that week. Third Brian. So many Brian's. My so many my Brian. um Brian, who's actually my fraternity brother. Oh right, 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 right. For my right, chapter. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. that I got the photo with uh Bill and Ted with also. Mm-hmm. And his first Halloween Horror Nights and it blew his mind. First time in Diagon Alley also. Yeah, and he's uh, fre- he's freaking out the whole time. It was yeah. Anyway, that was a fun night. <laughs> that was. Um, yeah. So we got all that. Um, oh yeah, and you were in the Bill and Ted photo. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I remember. That. Okay, we got that. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it in a second. Um, yeah. But yeah, trick or treat, absolutely fantastic. Absolutely, I'd rate that five stars. No questions asked. I I had I'm at a ten. I got ten out of ten. Just ten a- perfection. Awesome. Yeah, trick perfection. or treat. It's. It's it's really good. Like I would highly recommend walking at least through there twice and taking your time and really enjoying it. Um, next on in, Inside Universal's uh, rankings are the Chainsaw Clown Horde. I have them at number two. I yep. f- cannot disagree with this at all. These oh. clowns are not the clown hordes they had at 25. Right. They are way more demented. They have new uniforms and masks. Good they news. Good news, everyone. The Let's wheelchair, the wheelchair clown is back, which is my favorite clown because he can just wheel up on someone with no noise and then just rip the chainsaw and <laughs> scare everyone. Um, he's great. Uh, my yeah. fer- one of my favorite clowns is still the Come as toast, Ted clown. <laughs> um, he's he's an he's a classic. Uh, were you with me when I we ha- so. when we had the clown and the bench? No, I don't think so. So this may have been Sunday night, yeah. but I was hanging out, and you know those like um, like uh, tables they have near Moe's where it's like uh, it's a table and they have a bench on each of the yeah. sides. Yep. So there's like a people sitting around it, and this clown comes up and puts his chainsaw on the metal of one of the sides and just runs it up and the guy <laughs> scooches away and falls on his ass. <laughs> and then and then we're laughing our asses off and then the clown comes up behind us and he's like, I can't believe he did that. I've never <laughs> seen that before. <laughs> and, and it was the greatest thing. It's one of the greatest things I've ever seen. He's like, whoa! And then, and then, we, lo- and then we look on our left, there's another clown just sitting on a bench and he's just like chilling with this other dude waiting to jump up and 
and scare someone because yeah man they're so good they're really they good they're really good yeah. this year yeah i am a plus work on the chainsaw clown horde absolutely one of the best mm-hmm. next, always a lot of fun yeah uh do you have any thoughts on that before we go to the next scare zone i hey you said it all man it's just they're, they're always a lot of fun they're hilarious i mean they they, they bring it every night mm-hmm. every single night so next up on Inside Universal, um, next one I can agree with. Um, it, the next few are all ranked the same. Yeah. Um, they I actually, think I know what these they, are. They actually rank Chainsaw Horde as three stars along with the rest of these. I'd actually rank the Chainsaw Horde mm-hmm. at four, Trick or I'd Treat say, at, at yeah. five. Mm-hmm. And, then, and the next three, the next, I would rank two of the next three at three. One mm-hmm. of them at two stars, and one of them at one stars. Yeah. So the next house, uh, sorry, the next scare zone they have is Invasion. Um, I we chilled with Brian for a while uh-huh. in Invasion. Yeah. Um, I'm a fan of Invasion. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. Um, problem is, is that there's it's not scary per se. Right. Yeah. I think and, that's what I might might not. I had that too. Just. I think I have. I the, the 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 next three. I know. I I know what they are, and they're all ranked about the same. Like either mm-hmm. five out of ten or six out of ten or something like that. But um, as my feeling is, why well, like the, the the costumes were neat, the character design was cool. Um, soldiers had some cool little Borg action going with them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just, I they didn't. I don't know. Nothing really. It didn't really click. I which I is really disappointing. Yeah, I really 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 like Invasion. Like for what it is, mm-hmm. but it it. If you come to Halloween Horror Nights for scares, there's not money here. No. This is definitely definitely one of those. Oh, this is sweet kind of yeah. sc- scare zones. Not not a. Oh my god, this oh, is scary god. or whoa, what's going on here or wow. Right. This is a one of those things where you're, you're walking through with a beer, going, yeah, I got this. I get this vibe. This is cool. Is that why we like we chilled there for a good? I don't know half. It seemed like a half hour. So at least. yeah. Well, we were we, like we were running the restrooms. We we're getting yeah. drinks. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. all chilled there. We had aliens yeah. come up and just chill with us, and we had. <laughs> I, think the, I think that's I think that's the infamous Brian sort of lounging on the. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's <laughs> definitely from that night. Yeah. Um. Uh, God, I love Brian so much. Good times. Good times. He, he's such a good dude. Um. <laughs> I like Invasion. It's um. It doesn't live up to the hype I had for it, but right. I really enjoy it. Do you know what would have been really cool? Mm. Is if they gave those... Remember the really tall aliens they have? With the yeah. white... Yeah. What happens if like they had segways below it and they just like hovered as they walked? Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be interesting. Yeah. That'd be that'd be different and cool. Like you just like... They would kind of like hover to someone and just be... And yeah. you, could, you could do some different scares with it. But anyway. And that was a big problem with them. They just stood there. It was like... Yeah. Every time I went through that area, those, those, those tall... When the white cloaks and everything... Really, they didn't really do anything. They just stood there and looked around a bit. I'm like, Ugh, all right, mm-hmm. uh, you gonna like grab somebody from the? I, I, I thought it was I thought it was gonna be more like 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 the purge area where they have you know planted actors and they did some sort of sideshow with them. So I, I I have a really quick update. Uh-huh. Um, unfortunately, I did not see this on my trip, but mm-hmm. reportedly they have a Universal Escape poster at the prop shop. Oh, what now? Universal Escape. Oh, escape! Oh, what? I did not. I did not see that, and I'm like, I, I'm just seeing this in the chat right now, and I'm like, wow. I'm like, where is that? I did not see that. Where is it? <laughs> I was, I was just there a few days ago. Can you please? What's going on? Oh man! Yeah. So I may be sending some texts out to people tonight to see how much it costs and if they could buy it for me. <laughs> um, same. <laughs> Yeah, so the prop shop was fun because they had a two thousand dollar chance statue there. Did you see that? I didn't see that one. No. Um, I wish they, they did though. Yeah. So and they also had like a bunch of signs and stuff, and I got a photos with minions and a bunch of good stuff. Okay, yeah. so um, the next scare zone that I'm ranking, I'm actually mm-hmm. putting the other one they they list below what their next one. Um, mm-hmm. my next scare zone is the purge. I um, haven't switched. I have, I, have the, I have the purge as three, and then invasion as four. But basically, they're basically the same. In my yeah, mind. yeah. So for the purge, I mean, it's the purge. Uh, w- mm-hmm. One of the things I was thinking is like it's the purge from twenty four twenty four plus it, exact the, same the, thing. plus the scare actors from mm-hmm. uh, Psycho Scarapy from twenty five. So right. you have way more scare actors. Mm-hmm. 
it the issues with 24 was like hey they didn't have enough scare actors blah blah blah. they fixed it they got all the scare actors they got a bunch of stuff they have some props they know what's going on Mm -hmm. um there's a lot of purge uh issues there's still a lot of issues from arma um they took down stuff those banners were disappearing over the week we were there yeah yeah that was that was weird. weird There was like three of them. Uh huh. Then there was two, and then there was none. I, so I like, I, I like, I like the shows they do. They aren't necessarily scary because again, nothing's really happening to you. Mm-hmm. You know, it's one of those things. It's like it's happening to someone else, so this is isn't as scary. Um, I think the coolest thing, personally, and still will always be cool, is uh, the um the one set where they have it was the is the wood chipper set. Oh yeah yeah, so yeah yeah yeah. That was I love that. That's like, that's it, a fun one. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily go with the spraying water directly. Like that was were... that that was an interesting choice. Like because because you know the first time she would uh, he or she would put that uh, uh, body part in the wood chipper, a little spray would come out like a like a mist almost, and be like ah ha ha blood blood. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, these three like strong like not weak strong jets of water would shoot out. Yeah. And just drench like just just hit somebody straight on. And I didn't get hit with it, but I'm sure it probably didn't feel good. <laughs> yeah, like that's like that's like a fucking fountain. It's not like yeah. like they're they're hooked up to a water supply for this. It's not a joke. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's cool. There's another show scene with the body bags that I never saw. I hanging, never saw that either. That it was hanging up next to where Auntie Anne's is on the main street. Yeah. Near, I never, near I never where, saw um, that used. Yeah, I never saw that used either. That was something where it was up, but I never saw it. But whatever. Yeah. Um, then they did the Lucky. same thing before with the with the truck and yeah. the school bus. <clears throat> Excuse me, but yeah, the purge. Um, it's it is what it is. It's fine. Hey, guess yeah. what? Scares people. Chainsaws. Uh huh. Um, Plenty of those. So, yeah. So that was that was a bunch of fun times. So that's mm-hmm. um, my next one. So after that, uh, I would rate two stars to Festival of the Deadliest. Um, and that's what I have. I have like two and a half or, or five out of ten. So basically two and a half stars. So the problem with festival is that it it was one of those scare zones that really it. I don't think it got hurt by Irma like directly. Right. But it got hurt by Irma by like everyone going, we have to take care of everything else. Festival yeah. of the Deadliest will be our last scare zone we do. Right. Yeah. So it's a gr- it's evolved. It's grown. It's gotten it got better from my day one to my last day. It got mm-hmm. better. It got way better. Was that um, on on Sunday night? Was that Central one where they you yes. know, showed on the website? Was that actually used, used? Yes. Okay. There were scare used, actors okay. on it. On Saturday night, I remember going through it and I'm like, "There's nobody on this thing." I just see the skeleton with you know popping his head off. That's all I saw. I yeah. wasn't sure if there so was, that like, was start- people on that. On that was night. that was starting to be used. Like a lot of that okay. stuff was starting to be used finally. Okay. And and that's the problem that's is like there's an idea here for a scare zone. The mm-hmm. problem is just like the execution plus. Ir- Irma isn't mm-hmm. working, and, so, and just I mean, and you also have the, just the shadow of last year having Van Fifty Five in that area, and it just you. Well, I mean, and, and you know what? I'll also say that's the what I, sh- and that's the what sh- I'm thinking about too, and also the shadow of Twenty Five with the, uh, yeah. the 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 icons house there. Yeah. yeah, and 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 I would also say the shadow of Twenty Four with the uh, face off house there. Right. Yeah. Like that's some pretty solid stuff. Like not the best, but it's it's really good. Mm-hmm. So now to see that this year is just, just it's they needed to do something and they couldn't do it. So yeah, um, for whatever reasons. So I would put that as uh, my second to last. With my last mm-hmm. being, of course, the altars of horror. Shocker. Um, as I said on Inside Universal, I I have one complaint about the altars of horror. There are no fucking altars. <laughs> <laughs> like if you want to call it the altars of horror. And have those like like chance stages, but not necessarily the same ones. Just call it the selfies of horror or something. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. But like, if you have like them up there, and then like scare actors and everything, like, okay, I get that. Yeah, but all it is is some banners and some scare actors running around. That's all it is, and yeah. that's <sighs> really it was, all it is. It was sad. I I, I gave it. I gave it. I gave it a two out of ten or one star only because of this. It was Friday night. No, it was yeah, it was Friday night. I think it was me and Felipe. It was a Saturday mm-hmm. night. What's the night that we that we that you were outside with uh, Brian? Was that Saturday night? That was outside with Brian. Yeah, yeah like, like Saturday. You were, you were, yeah. Like Saturday. 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 All right. 
so it was me and Felipe. We had just gone through, um, you know, the shining. We did the stay, stay and scream thing, and we were walking down towards. You know, we we, we weren't thinking American Horse would, would be open, but it, it was super slow that that night. Um, and it you know it was open. And we're like, okay, cool. And it was comp- there was nobody in there but the scare actors. And I'm like, oh, neat. <laughs> this is cool. like I should I should I should take a picture of all this. And when I was taking my picture, I gotta upload it somewhere. But all of a sudden. All of them turned around and just stared right at, right at my phone. Oh, right you need to upload that! Holy shit, that's right great! Right at me, I'm like, I'm like, this is fucking creepy. <laughs> you need like, to that's do why that. I, that's why I ranked it. Uh, that's why I ranked it so high. It was like, um, like Pablo. It was the uh, uh, bri- uh the uh, woman in black. It was mm-hmm. uh, bagel. It was um, just a bagula bunch of cheese. Just, uh, b- <laughs> bagula cheese. <laughs> Lox and bagul. Um, <laughs> It was it was so weird because I, I just I had my camera up and all of a sudden just all their heads just turned right at me. I'm like, oh, all right, neato. But that's, then when I went through, oh. but, then, but then when I went through, nothing happened. So, I mean, still, that's anyway. great. That's oh, man, that's that's really good. <laughs> oh, shit, that's really good. <sighs> but yeah, um, I give they, one star. They, they work their out. they work their asses off. Yeah, I, just, I, mean, I don't I, I don't I blame the scare actors for it. I can't say enough about the scare actors. They just had nothing to work with. Mm hmm. Yep, Exactly. But anyway, so so we're we're done with um, scare zones. Mm-hmm. We're done with houses. Oh yeah. Do you want to talk about some of the food and bev? Because I, I will about be re- some of the food and bev already. I'll be really quick with the food and bev. That's um, fine. I didn't have. I, I meant to have food this time. I mm-hmm. meant to have the twisted taters and the pizza fries and all that. But I was just. Well, we just had going we we had Finnegan's. We had yeah fin- yeah Finnegan's Finnegan's is fine. Um, Finnegan's is always good. Um. Mm-hmm. But I, I I sort of told myself, okay, I want to try some like the the the, the car, you know the carny food, going through all the you know going through there. But I never I never really did, which is unfortunate. I just I don't know, I just never did. Mm-hmm. It was always in the back of my mind, like I'll get it tomorrow or I'll get it you know in an hour or so. But I just never did. Uh, the beverages, though, I will talk about the liquid courage and the liquid fear a bit because I did get yeah. that. Yeah, so I mentioned um, that real quick. Um, yeah, yeah th- what are your thoughts? I liked it. I mean. I think I, they're, it was they're way better than the old mixed drinks. Oh, definitely. I mean, it didn't taste like you know diesel fuel, so <laughs> right. points for that. Um, <clears throat> no, I thought they were good, and the you know I liked what they did with the you know it sucked that they forced you to buy two different types of plinky cups because I totally did. I bought the round ones for the beer, and then also the square ones with the split in the middle. All I have is a split drink. one. You all have a split one. I got the I got the round one for the beer because you couldn't get the beer in the mm-hmm. in the split cup, and you couldn't yeah. get the mixed round yeah it was it was yeah. so they did it, yeah. it sucks but they did force you to buy two blinky cups um but i did like the the taste i mean they did mm-hmm. like i said it wasn't rancid <laughs> they, it <Ooh>. seemed fresh. <laughs> yeah yeah um i mean there's no monster energy in it so right that's right, always exactly. a good thing in my my eyes <laughs> And you know, I I think I had more Dufftoberfest than I had anything else. So Dufftoberfest is always Dufftoberfest is the real always the, re- the, re- the, re- the real winner of this the real, uh, group. Definitely, always every year. Oh man, I look forward to that. Dufftoberfest. Mm. And mm. just just sort of on a side note, just with the whole you know drinking changes in general. Oh yeah, we should comment on that real quick. Yeah, I understand why they did it, and I'm actually pretty fine with it. Like the the bars never really had that. You know, I'm I usually do beer anyway um so the, and the blinds for the bars were always small because you couldn't get a mixed drink there so you had they forced you to go to uh the finnegan's um or that um that wharf one mm-hmm. um so i don't really mind that they made that change honestly it didn't i didn't really affect me it didn't i didn't really notice a huge difference yeah so my thing is like like as i told everyone like i'm in a fraternity mm-hmm. i'm a lush like that's mm-hmm. like i like I'm not a teetotaler at all. Right. <laughs> like I come to Halloween Horror Nights and I'm like, yes, I, I would will like. Be, I, I I will be dropping fifty dollars on alcohol. I understand at, at this. Least, at least. I, <laughs> yeah, I understand this. I'm I'm okay with that. It's gonna be a great night. I'm gonna get scared. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get scared shitless. I'm gonna right. drink a lot. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna bring my friends here. They're gonna love it. Which, by mm-hmm. the way, Brian loved it. Oh yeah. Um, I should probably text him back and see how he get get his review. <laughs> for later <laughs> um do do a separate podcast with brian only um <laughs> other brian uh other my brian, brian only yeah uh yeah brian from uh dayton um there you go. uh 
Yeah, so my thing is, um, I think the issue right now is just how they're handling Finnegan's. Otherwise, oh, yeah. everything's fine. Like, yeah. if you only offer liquor where you could buy liquor normally during the day, mm-hmm. that's not a big deal. Like, nah, it really when, it com- when it comes down to it, it's like four locations. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. Yeah. Um, beer still every location. Mixed pre mixed drinks every location. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and and I will not apologize for Universal at all for screwing mm-hmm. over their team members who are hired. Oh, that that is the worst thing. Yeah, I, I they were say. they were hired oh. under the assumption they were going to do alcohol That's sales so normally f- with with tips mm-hmm. um, at the tents and the shot girls. Yeah, were hired yeah. for that, and you know what? It fucking sucks, and that is unacceptable. And yeah, it really is. That's embarrassing, and for a company, I felt really bad for a company that uh, treats their cat their team members very well. Um, that's unacceptable for Universal mm-hmm. to do that, and I hope they understand that and they move forward from that mm-hmm. or something they could fix. But um, yeah. that that's kind of my thing. It's just like, hey, you know what? I'm just some drunk asshole. I care about mm-hmm. the t- I, I care about the team members more. Mm-hmm. That's always been my thing. So yeah, um, yeah. I guess that's our your your and mine final comments on the alcohol and yeah. in all that. Because guess what? They still had fire whiskey and strongbow. <laughs> they and, sure did. Oh, oh boy, man. how did they have oh. that? <laughs> oh boy. Um. So before we do the shows, are there any other random things you want to talk about Halloween Horror Nights? Because I I did not see Academy of Villains, so the the final the finale Academy, of the show is going to be all yeah, Bill and Ted. I'll, so, I'll say something real quick. Academy of Villains. <laughs> I walked by a few times and I caught a few minutes here and there. It is what it is. I I enjoy it, but it was the you know the, the truncated um, Irma show basically. Yeah. Um. And it was it was it was it was cool. I I enjoyed it for what I saw, but I was usually just walking by, stopping for a couple minutes, and walking some more. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um, I saw Academy of Villains last year. I thought part of it was cool. I thought part of it was really dumb, <laughs> the bluntly. Um, I'm sorry, BMX tricks, uh, drummer, and sign spinning may not be my necessarily Halloween <laughs> entertainment I want to see. And fight me if you think that's not in the show, because it totally was in the show. Um, uh, uh, I mean, and plus, but, but you know what? I got to say, also, on the other hand, Academy of Villains followed up fucking carnival of carnage yeah like they followed up that like that's like (laughs) that's a that was a show that was a great show that's so good yeah so like that's a show i still watch every once in a while like that's like yeah yeah that's that's something Uh um so academy of villains like i i don't think they're my they're they're not my jam for halloween at all gotcha um and it's gonna it's i guess we'll get you know, talk about it when we talk about Bill and Ted, but it's going to be an interesting year next year, what they do. Yeah. So, um, other Halloween Horror Nights thoughts. Um, how did the AP previews go for you? Oh, great. Yeah. AP they, previews went, yeah. Yeah, they seem pretty... Was, it, it, it was very well organized. Um, you know, I heard about hor- the horror stories from, I guess, last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I got to the front of that, whatever, that crowd early enough at uh, yeah. Citizens Area and got right in on all the houses right away it was i thought it was great yeah patrick and i did um t2 my last t2 t2 3d oh yeah yep 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 super super um, so we did that no motorcycle with a motorcycle sound it always yeah. cracked me up and man that's a terrible 3d now especially with like oh, sound so and everything. Bad. it's, it's so really bad. bad now like you can't watch it that's how bad yeah. it is no yeah, was my eyes were hurting I remember last um, time i was just watching it yeah um i'm trying to think yeah. what else um Bill and Ted. Everything's good. No, no, we're not. T- we're, not we're, 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 we're we're gonna. Sorry, we're, we're sorry, finishing sorry. with Bill and Ted. Finishing, so, sorry. Right. um, it was great dr- running around Diagon Alley drunk with uh, the Inside <laughs> Universal guys trying to make like spells happen. Oh um, yeah, <laughs> I uh, that was, that was definitely funny. one of the great that 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 gives me one of the biggest smiles on my face. Just like. Being like, no, we can do it. We can, do, we can do it. Guardian Leviosa. It's a small. Du- it's, a sm- it's a small W. <laughs> um, definitely one of one of the greatest things was, I've seen. I was very, I was very honored offering up my my wand to those guys. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, same thing for Diagon Alley was uh, 
you, me, and Felipe went to Diagon mm-hmm. Alley. Yep. And we were walking around. And I, I want to mention this because just how great this is. Like, oh. how, how cool Theme Park fandom is. So we walk into Nocturne. Magical moment incoming. And we go in, and this is there's this couple there. And they're trying to do the the house elf spell in um, Nocturne, and it wasn't working. So I turned to them and saying, hey, it's not working. It's not lit up, blah, 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 whatever. And then we kind of do that. And I'm like, I turned to them and like, so do you want to see a, you want to see a hidden one? <laughs> they're like, yeah. So we take them to the hidden one. And like, okay, cool. And then we take them to the other hidden one, and it's not working. And they're like, okay. Well, cool. What, what are you guys here for? I'm asking them, what are you guys here for? And like, oh, yeah, blah, blah. So we hang out with Kevin and Allison mm-hmm. for a good, like, two hours, right? Right. It feels like two it was, hours. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a while. Yeah, so. It's good, it's good hangout. This uh, wonderful couple from, uh, originally from Illinois, now from Alabama, um, on their honeymoon, nonetheless. Yeah. So they put up with us on their honeymoon. It Man. was, it was. It was because Alice, it was the wife that was really, really into Harry Potter. Yeah. And the the dude was just mostly not having it, but. <laughs> no, he was having a great time. Well, he was having a great time, but I mean, like. Yeah, it wouldn't he, have been his first not, choice. He, right, 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 right. Um, so and, then. And, 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 there were, and there were those people that actually just came just for Harry Potter, too. Yeah, yeah. Like, went, it was the first time I ever run into somebody like that, like a couple or people like that. They just mm-hmm. come just for Harry Potter. And it was blew my mind. Yeah. So we hung out with them and we did a bunch of spells. Um, we saw Celestina Warbeck. We saw Beetle the Bard. We got some drinks. We got more drinks. And who got um, pulled up to sell on, on Celestina? Yeah, Kevin got who? pulled up on Celestina, which was great. Yeah. Um, this tall, gangly white dude got pulled up on the Celestina wearing pants. That was great because <laughs> his wife thought uh, she was being called up. And, and Celestina's like, no, 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 no him <laughs> like but like ver- like non-verbally doing it so I, yeah. did, I i had to like grab the like the beer cups out of his hands for that <laughs> um so we, uh, yeah we did that and then we did olivanders and uh-huh. they got picked they both got picked for olivanders as a couple as a couple really and, cool. and, and they did the couple thing where it's the same you know the same it's exactly the same it's the same heart dra- string from the same dragon dragon, dragon heart string yep and um, they did that whole thing, and they got pulled up, and they bought the wands, and I gave my annual pass so they could get a discount. Because man, <laughs> they need that discount. Oh, um, definitely. Um, so that was awesome, and just hanging out with them was a blast. Yeah, got fire whiskey, had a good time, um, and then of course we then said Men in Black, and Kevin was like, "Oh, my spirit Listen. animal is Will Smith." <laughs> so we had to do Men in Black, Alien in Tech, which was fantastic. I tried yeah. to do the immigration tour. They weren't offering it at that time. I asked. But we did that, and that was great. And then we split our separate ways, and they went on the Hogwarts Express over to Islands to do Spider-Man, I assume, and the rides we suggested. And then I met up with Brian from U- from Dayton. And then um, you and Felipe hung out. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. That's that was a lot of fun. That was that was a lot of cool. F- that was really yeah. cool. It's like, just these complete strangers that you just find like, oh, here's some stuff over here. Here's some stuff over here. Like they would never normally not ever oh, yeah. experience we, that. Remember, we took them in the money exchange. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that happened too. Like we showed them all around the place and they had a blast and we were just oh. showing them. And, and the whole time, like, are you sure you don't work for Universal? And I'm like, if I worked for Universal, I would not be paying for any of this stuff right now. So <laughs> um, I'm just making sure people have a fun time yeah and then and they're like oh i guess we don't have to come back and i'm like so fun fact (laughs) (laughs) so uh you got a new coaster and ministry magic coming so like um by the way (laughs) yeah that's fun about yeah that was fun um i'm trying trying to think if there's anything else uh oh horror makeup yes okay horror makeup Horror makeup was Love. a blast. So good. Um, new the the new we're not we don't work here. We're spies from SeaWorld joke. Uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Man, there's a lot of good jokes in that one that I've not heard before. A lot of cool. There was that one where the um the dude in the lab coat um mm-hmm. you know pe- 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 pecked out some kid in the audience. Is like, oh, how old are you? 
Oh, 10. Where are you from? Mexico? Yeah. Mexico, you say? I was in Mexico 10 years and nine months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> and was, and his, dad, his dad was just sitting right there next to him. No, no, no. But that was after he was like, oh, oh. Huh, huh. He's like all getting over clumsy. He's like, like, like a good thirty seconds. He's like, and the guy's like, "What's going on?" He's like, "I was in Mexico ten years and nine months ago. <laughs> I think this is my son." So <laughs> that that was really good. Yeah. The other the other one being um the uh the uh the American Werewolf in London part, <laughs> and he's like, "So where do you get all the hair from?" <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> then he highlights his uh, receding hairline. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was a really good pair. This that was time. that was a really good one. Oh my gosh, that was that was fantastic. It's always um, a good show, though. It really it's is always one of the best shows. I made sure all the Universal people know that. Yeah, <laughs> just tag them all in that. Um, yep. Yeah, the horn makeup was great. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that happened? October pretzels check check I ate a cowfish cowfish was delicious I got the uh, boss roll that was pretty good I had the Georgia roll okay nice with my, with, with, with my mountain of a uh, of a uh, fried pickles yeah did you see they changed the uh, drink menu ah uh, they gosh, did it had, been, it, it, they, it, it, it had been a while before but I had got the um the bacon old fashioned or the okay the, the candy yeah. bacon old fashioned that's still uh, on there. there and that yeah. was oh that was so good. I had a they, few of those. They had a bee's knees on there before. They don't have any more. Yeah. I think it was what it was called. So I got the uh, bourbon smash, I think it was called. So mm-hmm. it was like blueberries and raspberries smashed with bourbon and some other stuff. It was delicious. But yeah. Um, they changed their drink menu. They changed their food menu, blah, blah, blah. You know, things happen with those restaurants. So Yeah. Um, that was delicious. Uh, NBC Grill Brew, always fun. Um, I've gotten a bunch of stuff there. Uh, we left uh, Friday night early when the uh, – Power went out at Halloween. Oh Nights. yeah, um, that was weird because we were chilling, and then all of a sudden the power went out in a third of the park, and two attractions and three houses went down. And we didn't really notice it until. And you know, I, I, I think Bill and Ted went down also, so that's they, even worse. Did it? I thought it was still going. All I saw, all, all I used to remember seeing on the app was it was Scarecrow, Hive, mm-hmm. and I think and Ash mm-hmm. were all delayed. And yeah, it was super weird. I'm sorry, my Alexa's going off right next to me. It's really distracting. Oh my god, Alexa! <laughs> Shut Jeez, up. Alexa, so turn rude. Alexa, turn off Brian's lights. <laughs> oh gosh, if only if I had that power yeah. or that technology. Hey, do you know what the new Alexas look pretty good? Do you see those? Uh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they yeah, do I look. saw them. Yeah, those that that ninety dollar one, ninety nine yeah. ninety nine dollar one looks pretty good. I'd yeah, actually, I'd actually cool. buy one. So. I don't know. Whatever. I just have an old school Echo back here. I don't really do much with it. Just set alarms and just mm-hmm. play Pandora on it. Basically, Yay. It. it's fine. <laughs> Hooray! It's fine. What it is. Well, I, I, have, I have Hue set up in my apartment. Ah, okay. So I should probably get one. So all my uh, house like house guests aren't mm-hmm. like, I'll turn off the lights for you because <laughs> they, they don't have it on their apps. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Or I need to get a button. Anyway, whatever. Um, yeah. So, like, the power went out, and that just made Friday night really weird. Like, it one of the so weirdest weird. nights I've ever been to Hollywood Hornets because it was so jammed. It was unaccessible. People didn't know what was going on. We did American Horror Story or The Shining. I No, we did The Shining uh-huh. with Meg. Yeah. Um, and then, I, I think I think I think I think I split up because I was like I'm only going to do. I was already still battling a wicked hangover from yeah. the w- the insanity that was Thursday night. Little so did I you was, know, was, coming was, Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? So I was already just my 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 equilibrium was off. I was just feeling I was seesawing back and forth between you know nausea and being okay, and I'm just like I'm only going to do like one more house. I'm going to use my express for fallen maybe, and then I'm going to yeah. go back to my room. <laughs> Not a bad idea. So yeah. We did Shining and then um, great run through Shining and then Felipe and I are like everyone was like we're bouncing and I'm like Felipe yeah. I need a drink and he's like I need a drink so we talked about family stuff and personal stuff as friends do and we got yep. some wonderful cheese curds at uh, yes. NBC Grill Brew which is one of the better appetizers if you want the best appetizers at NBC Grill Brew in my personal opinion pretzel boneless wings. Cheese curds, flatbreads. Those are the okay. ways to go. Those are the ways to go, right. I think. Yeah. 
Um, definitely. Definitely he's got a pretzel because that pretzel is just gigantic. It's bigger than yeah, my face. That's, that's, and, and, and you get Cleveland's own ballpark mustard with it. Oh, there you go. And a beer cheese. Best mustard, <laughs> the best mustard in North America and some delicious beer cheese. So anyway, food. Um, uh, do you know what they have going on special right now in Antijitos? What's that? So I went to Antijitos after I picked up Brian from Dayton, mm-hmm. and they had their Patron margaritas for five bucks off. Whoa. So you could get their Patron margaritas, that, heavy, heavy margaritas for like 13 yeah. bucks a pop. That is dangerous. Which is cheaper, way cheaper than the normal margaritas. So think mm-hmm. about that for a second. Right. Also, um, they told me their special this month, um, I, I texted a few people, was um, individual paellas. Oh, interesting. N- not Mexican, but sounds really good. Yeah. So, like indivi- paella. individual paella. Like a like a little dish and you know, you know yeah. all the paella. So, yeah. paella. Paella, it's really good. It's fun to uh, say. Yeah, paella. 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 Uh, yeah. anything else we want to talk about before we get to the shows? Um, I did have one of the milkshakes from Tusa when I went there. Okay. I, I had the strawberry cheesecake one. Uh huh. Insanely good. I loved it. I, I, I've had, I've had the, uh, the net one there before. It's also very tasty. Mm-hmm. This one, I had to be rolled out on a wheelbarrow. Seriously. <laughs> cause I, cause I, I, I had, Roll I had a, I, I, a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few of those two chocolate stouts. I had a burger and then I had, I finished it up with a milkshake. Oh. So I was basically, uh, just I was just inflated. Wow! Yeah, point, and I was I was it was a struggle. It yeah, was a struggle dude. to, 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 be, to get back to my <laughs> Holy shit! Anyway, milkshakes at to some very very tasty. Thumbs Good. up always. Good. Um, next time I'm down there, I need to do Blue Man uh, again. But yeah, I want, I want to do one. Awesome. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite shows. Um, I need to see it with Patrick because he's a huge uh, he's a huge electronic music fan. Okay, and, and Blue Man Group's like analog electronic music. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. <laughs> right. Um, so I, I want to take him there and show him and have drinks and maybe do like that pre-show post-show thing. Oh yeah, and, and get photos and have a good time down there. That'd be yep. super. That'd be super cool. Mm. Um. So I think there's only one thing we have to do with Halloween Horror Nights now. Last thing. It's the last. Oh. It's the last thing. Uh, this Bill, one. This one's gonna hurt. Yeah, Bill and Ted. Ugh. Um, so I think the best thing we can say is that we got photos. Yeah. Yeah. We got, we have our photos. So yeah, I got my photo. Yeah. I, I mean, the, 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 the show itself, I'm not saying it's like, it's sad because it was an awful show. No, no, quite the opposite. I loved it. Well, let's it's start just, with the show. Let, let's start with yeah. the photos real quick. Like, okay. So if anyone wants to get a photo with Bill and Ted, here's yes. what you have to do. It's very simple. Mm-hmm. It's not easy. I'm just saying it's very simple. Not the first show, not the last show. Sit in the right hand uh, section of the stage, right stage, right far right. Once, like they do their bow, and like you see, like the cast, the team members are gonna, the cast members are gonna let you run. Just run over to a little bit after where the fence ends, mm-hmm. next to the stage. You'll see a guy in there with a headset and chill right behind him. There should be a trash can in that area. Mm-hmm. They only allow about five to ten photos. It's good. you got to be quick. Yeah, there, there are some people who who jumped the line. There that was some, awful that first night. Yes, oh, I was, oh, I was yes. so angry. Um, I don't blame you. There are some people who, um, uh, there there are like make a wish kind of things or family members. You know, hey, guess what? It happens. So, so yeah. Um, and then there are people who take a very long time because they want to take like three photos with get, get a photo with me and my Funko Pops. Yeah. Um, and here, use this other person's camera. And here, use yeah. this other person's camera. Just like, no, use one camera, so picture. Basically, they have five minutes to take photos. So you got to aim for that. So yeah. the best thing I can recommend, get there quick, get there soon. Try, try, try and you get a photo and then stop getting photos because let someone else do it. Um, yeah. um, the only I, I got two photos only because I was there with you and Felipe and, mm-hmm. and other Brian. Mm-hmm. Um, otherwise, I just been like backing out. Nope. Someone else take a photo. Not right. It was. Thing. It was. It was fine with us because it was just. I, we were just using my phone, just the one phone for the picture. Yeah, exactly. Um, it was all. It was all four of us in that one photo. It was. We were in. We were out. Said, "Hey, we're gonna miss you next year. See you later." Exactly. Man, that's a good photo. Yeah, so good. That may have to be the cover album art for this. 
Um, <laughs> but yeah, my picture with uh, with Patrick, uh, I just shook Bill's hand, uh, PJ's hand, and I was like, just thank you, man, thanks. And he's like, thanks. Uh-huh. And he's like, <laughs> and then um, he's like, how do you want to pose? So we just posed like that. And I looked way too serious for that pose. <laughs> <laughs> but it happened. And right. we ran out, and um, that's going to be something special for a long time. So, mm-hmm. definitely, the show. Uh, Holy shit, this show is really good. It it's was so a, good this year. It's a really good Bill and Ted show. Um, it's it's an incredibly emotional show. They definitely uh-huh. open and close with memorials, uh, yeah. like just for the show. Uh, the opening is definitely a kind of non spoilerific kind of you know, overview of the show. And then right. the ending is in the ending. Just one one clips. of the parts of the endings is clips from all the old shows. It goes from oh my year, years and years and years back all the way to, um, uh, let myself go mm-hmm. <laughs> basically. Um, absolutely fantastic. A plus. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting Terry. I just thinking about <clears throat> like that, that last little clip show they did. <clears throat> um, I, and you could and yeah. you could tell, you know, unfortunately, you could tell too that they had it. You know, it was a last second thing, and they had to tack on mm-hmm. that little bit of a plot point. But so, it's yeah. still it's. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. So, so as you're saying, like the last minute plot point um, about this being, oh, geez, guys, it's your final show. Um, yeah. You can see how it's something where they adjusted it a little bit, and it makes mm-hmm. sense. Right. Where if this wasn't their final show, it'd be like, oh, geez, I'm man, I have to kill everyone. <laughs> and I'm going to really miss your show, you know, that kind of thing. But mm-hmm. instead, it comes from Rufus, and it's like... Yeah. And then the whole entire... And then just Death looks out and says, all of this will be like a dream. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, man, that's that's rough. Um, but it's one you were glad to have. I'm just... At that point, it's just... Yeah. Ah, that's why I want... Ah. That's, that's why I'm looking at Flights Out... Um, <laughs> for the final weekend, because I want to just do Bill oh. and Ted like twice more, right. like the right. house. Like I'll do The Shining again, uh-huh. but like I just want to see Bill and Ted like two more times. Just I like know. one more normal Bill and Ted, and I want to see the final Bill and Ted because man, that's going to be rough. You know, I, I haven't been going as long as you know some of the other you know local folks. I've been mm-hmm. I've been doing it seven years. Yeah, going, going back to I think mm, eighteen or nineteen or something like that. Anyway, but this was definitely. I think one of the better Bill and Ted's. I didn't. I didn't even. I didn't do last year's. I don't think we just had any time to do it. It was bad. It was really yeah, bad. And that's that's also what I heard too. So we mm-hmm. were just mostly you know concerned with houses. Um, but seriously, I'm gonna miss it. I miss it so much. Yeah. Um, I think it's something that we're not with. It's, it's not hitting us yet till. Right. It's not there and, anymore. Um. Yeah. It's going to be so weird next year. I mean, I don't know what they're going to replace it with or because I, I mean, if, if you try to just do because they're not going to have this, you know, the fear factor live there, right? That's going to be minor. Sta- so my understanding is the um, Bill and Ted's not leaving for any other reason besides fear factor live. Is right. Going away. Mm-hmm. Um, that's my understanding. And because of the uh, just the general nature of the show. Mm-hmm. You really can't do it anywhere else unless it's in the sound stage, and that's just yeah. all the houses now. And yeah, you just they just can't do it. So yeah, there's no infrastructure um, other than Fear Factor Live to do that show. It's just, and it's a shame. The rumor on Inside Universal was uh, Woodbury wanted to kick Bill and out Bill and Ted out this year, and no, Iello and, yeah. and Iello said, "Hey, no, we're doing one last year," and that was what I heard. So I don't know, man. But you know, there's a lot of complaints against Bill and Ted. Um, uh, sexism, homophobia, transphobia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like a lot of that come w- the ones I've seen mm-hmm. um, do not fit underneath that. Um, I could be wrong. I'm a I white, don't... I'm a white straight cis guy, so I understand that I may not pick up on everything. Um, I... A lot of the issues with Bill and Ted seem to come from the West Coast. Um, yeah, yeah. But but also again, like I don't think it's anything recent necessarily. Which right. is something that I can't say about other shows, but um, all the Bill and Ted's I've always seen were progressive, to say the least. Yeah, like I've never, I've never really picked up again. You know, white, straight. Oh, no. um, mm-hmm. I've never. I guess, I guess this was my. I guess I had to check my privilege, but I just never really picked up on <laughs> anything. I never picked. I never picked up any on anything. You know, um, gosh, what's what I'm looking for. 
aggressive towards uh, punching um, down. Punching down. That's yes. That's it. I've never seen them really punch down. I've only mm-hmm. seen them, you know, take on the pop culture of the year, you know, politicians, and I never really saw them like, oh, beat up this guy because he's, you know, queer, or beat up this guy because he's, you know, different, yeah, religion or something. It's just I never saw that. Or you know, like, hey, let's make. I never, I, 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 yeah. or, or, or I never noticed it. It, yeah. So I, I, I could be completely wrong, and I could be, I could have gone to a year where you know I was so drunk. I'm like, yeah, blah, it's, it's and always all that. been it's always been more making fun of the persona that someone has in public than right. themselves. Right. Right. Um, that's right, always exactly. been that's always been the thing they always joked about, um, and mm-hmm. they always punched up. But hey, you right. know what? I could be wrong. Um, but I just want to just mention that real quick. Um, because I know that's something that happens on Twitter, and I just feel like that needs to be mentioned. Definitely. Um. So this year's Bill and Ted is the wild stallions tour Mm -hmm. um this year also uh the wild stallion tours choreographer uh coordinator not choreographer that'd be really funny coordinator is sean spicer um (laughs) uh played by uh the actress who played melissa mccarthy last year i forget her name she's the same one who played uh Elsa in 24 yeah. with um she's so she's so freaking talented. She's definitely one of my favorite actresses in the show. She's amazing. Oh, absolutely. A+. Plus. Um does a great job. So the whole show is basically around the uh Coachella Comic-Con Food and Wine Festival mm-hmm. <laughs> or whatever they called it. And um it was I it think was, I I think one of the most under underappreciated jokes that I heard was that it was the uh, the fire fest the fire festival one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't hear I didn't hear a lot of laughs. I was about to like bust out laughing, and all yeah. of a sudden I, just, I looked around and be like, "No one's laughing at this." I thought it was hilarious. That that was a great joke. Yeah, that's yeah, a really good fest. joke. Um, because they're, they're like a steaming pile of shit festival. It's like the fire yeah. festival. And people yeah, are like, then, oh yeah, electric ocean. It's like ah, we get that more. <laughs> um, so that was good. Um, and so then death shows up, the Grim Reaper from Bogus Journey. Bogus. Oh, and so, oh my god, he's was, such a good. It so, was so he was on, on yeah, perfect. Especially the time we saw him Saturday night, and he was yeah. just like being bashful the whole time. He was like, "Go <laughs> death, go death." He's like, "Oh, stop." <laughs> he was so in character from the actual movie; it was yeah. scary. <laughs> yeah, just absolutely perfect. He was fantastic. Um, yeah, rock uh, scissors paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two out of three, bring him back. Marty would. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that was good. Um, I I, and there, I mean, of course, like any Bill and Ted, there's going to be low moments where it hits with other people instead of you and high moments. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, how can we not mention Moana? Oh, my God. Or, or, or we like to call her Water Pocahontas. Water Pocahontas. Water Holy Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah. mean, she 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 definitely had the pipes. That's for sure. Yeah. So it turns <laughs> out that it turns out that lyric is "Bell apartments are behind me." Bell apartments are behind. <laughs> Bell B E L L apartments because that's the uh, yeah. name of the apartment complex. Bell apartments, <laughs> not there are apartments behind yeah, me. Yeah. Which is what or or there apartments behind me. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bell apartments behind me. Oh my gosh. Um. God, that's. Oh, you're a girl. I'm a. You're a boy. I, I'm a girl. You're a boy. They're a bell. Oh god, mm, bell so good. Behind me. Oh, so yeah. funny. And, and then uh, island, um, island. Yeah, and there's a slut over there or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> god, and then water dancing the around. The water. Oh my gosh. That was so funny. That was great. Um, that was great. Uh, Doctor Evil was great. Yep. Um, Doctor Evil. That was awesome. Um, I think the Justin Bieber part was good. Um, yeah, I know some people. I know a lot of people thought it went over too long. I thought that was good. Um, Lady, the Lady Gaga part where she. Oh my god! Right, jumps. and and the, but it, did you w- watch the video and like it's a- they're actually trying oh. to recreate the Super was, Bowl. So in the background, yeah. you see Universal Orlando. Yeah, and and at the beginning, you see the the hole she jumps through. Right. So it's like the whole joke. And <laughs> God, that's it so worked, good. It works so well. <laughs> that's that's that was a great joke. Um, I think Power Rangers didn't work at all. No, it um, really didn't. But I was, ha- at first, at first, I was like, at first, I was like, right, who? Is- I get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hack Sparrow, I thought was great. Um, that was a multi-layered <laughs> yeah. joke, and I thought it was great. Um, that was a really good joke. Um, uh, 
Uh, God, what else was there? Um, Rocket Raccoon was in there. Oh, yeah. I am Ted. Yeah, I am that, Ted. <laughs> I, it took me a while to figure that one out, and I'm like, oh, wait, yeah. I get that now. That's I. Am, that's the I am Groot joke. Yeah. Um, uh, that was good. The uh, killing Ted off. Uh, killing Bill off. Um, yeah. uh, uh, the princess panel. The, the, uh, oh, uh, Wonder Man. Oh, my God. Wonder I Man was that. great. I, I got that reference too so well. <laughs> yeah. It was such it was such a deep cut. <laughs> that, that was good. Um God, what else was there in the show? Anything else? Uh, they did of? a little bit of Stranger Things where sh- Oh yeah, the Stranger uh, Barb's yeah. above uh, above Bar- yeah. party. Yep. Um yep. Yep. The, yep. The, the the Baywatch thing was I think fine. It was yeah. It was I mean that was I, that was girl candy. Right. <laughs> so I, I mean we we were in a spot where those uh where those girls in the um uh the uh, butt floss, I guess mm-hmm. you call it. Yeah, yeah. Right there. So that was, that was nice. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed that. Yeah. Um anything else you can remember from the show? Uh gosh. Uh huh. Now I'm trying to remember if there's anything any other pop culture jokes we missed. Right. Oh, uh how can we forget uh Death coming back saying, Hey, we're gonna kill you if you can't re- see anything redeeming in pop culture. Yep. And, and he comes back with the balloon from it. He's oh, like, I'm, yeah. I'm just clowning around. <laughs> <laughs> that got so many laughs. It's yeah, so good. Did. Yeah. Oh, um, there was, oh, do you know what else? And you know what else we forgot? The whole mm-hmm. entire uh, Bill and Ted uh, meetup. Remember the meet and greet with Bill and Ted with the get out? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Wayne's was... World, shake and bake, <laughs> sex, but bomb. We don't say any of those things. <laughs> <laughs> Um, there was the Trump, Trump, Trump tweets, Trump tweets, <laughs> Scrotus. Yeah. Um, those were great. And then, uh, uh, and then, and then of course the, uh, finale to the, uh, avatar joke. Oh, um, of course. Which I mean, at first you're like, oh, they're going to kill the sex tail guy. And then like the lady with all the bands, she comes out, <laughs> which is <laughs> unbelievable. That killed me. That believe- killed me. I died watching that the uh, first time. I'm like, uh, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> he actually got. They actually found banshees to put on this woman. <laughs> you don't. You've never lived until you feel the banshees breathe beneath between your legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so good! Uh, oh my, yeah. The, I think there, there, there's a floating mountain joke too. That was, that was yeah, funny. <laughs> they're not floating. There, you can clearly see the vines. <laughs> Run for your lives! <laughs> uh, and on oh, the cash me out outside joke. <laughs> yep. It's like okay, you're going to die first. Um, yeah. So th- man, it was a great show. All uh, the dancing, all the sexy dancing, I all mean, the music. Still, I- like the the, the 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 thing I'm going to take away the most from that show is seriously I never got a picture with them before because I was I always yeah. thought there'd be time but yeah uh, um just getting a picture with them after the show and just meeting them and just you know mm-hmm. showing my appreciation to what they've been doing these you know every time I've been it's always just been so funny and I'm I am really going to miss that show it's it's something that um I heard a little bit beforehand like days before the announcement right. came out. Like right. around the circles, people are like, something's happening. Yeah. Something's closing. We don't know what it is. It's something mm. new. It's something that's uh, going to hit home. So uh, we're all ready. Like something's yeah. going to, is it going to be E.T.? Is it going to be like, it's a small world? Is it going to be like <laughs> the Haunted Mansion? And then we heard Bill and Ted and we're like, oh. Uh, so we were ready. But like, even then now it's like, Bill and Ted's ending. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. <sighs> um. Anyway. Um, also, last last musical number with uh, Freddie Mercury doing uh, mm. we Will Rock You is fantastic. Oh, so good. Yeah, that was absolutely uh, pitch perfect. The only way you can end mm-hmm. it, I think. Yeah. Um, so that's Bill and Ted. So uh, do you have any overall thoughts and last thoughts for uh, Halloween Horror Nights 27? I had such a good time this year. I thought it was very, very good. Um, I yeah. mean, the houses, the houses definitely had to carry the scares out. I mean, no question about it, but the, mm-hmm. the majority of the houses were just so good. Even the, even the houses that weren't as good, still, in any other year, they'd be, you know, top. Or mm-hmm. in the top, you know, five or top three. Yeah. But it was such a strong year for houses that, you know, any 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 shortcomings anywhere else were easily made up and then some. Yeah. 
Um, I, w- with the weak scare zones, even then, like, yeah, we're, we, the houses are so good and it was yeah. such a good time. And Bill and Ted's mm-hmm. great this year. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I uh, again, like the only issues I have are like the, the lack of areas to find liquor just re- increases lines, which, Hey, probably is a good thing in the end run, but still, Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it was a great year. Like I want to go back. Like I've I didn't not feel like I wanted to go back at twenty six or twenty four. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go back for twenty five, and I want to go back for twenty seven. Yeah. And um, I think that's a really good praise for the event. Mm-hmm. Just like, hey, Absolutely. I want to go back and do this. Right. I want to exactly. do one more night, and mm-hmm. I want to do one more night. So I don't think there's any higher praise than that. Yeah. I want to so. go back. Yes, I, I want to go back. Credit card will not let me. Oh my god, I want to go back. Um, so, uh, you ready to cr- close out the show then? Uh yeah. We've I been think at, so. at over for two over two hours now. So holy snakies! Yeah, okay. right. We, we just aren't. Yeah, we're just all like peeing everywhere and all that stuff. I know. So, I know. Uh, Brian, where can we find you online at? Oh my goodness! Uh, uh, you can find me on Twitter. Yes. At at not spelled brain. Because yeah. it's not spelled brain, it's spelled Brian. Yes. At so spelled brain. Yep. I one of my biggest pet peeves in the world, if I ever go to a Starbucks and someone spells out brain on my cup, I will I will tweet it to the world. I've seen those and, photos now. Yeah. And, oh yeah. Now that we're Facebook um, friends, wink. <laughs> yay. It's Facebook official. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah, that's basically it. I mean I'm on I'm also on the IU forum sometimes, uh, Captain Tragedy, but uh I usually just talk sometimes i don't have any really inside info so i'll just show up i'm more of a stalker <laughs> that, that's not a bad thing i mean yeah. like there's pro- just, there's plenty of like terrible people on iu so <laughs> don't worry you could be way worse yeah we, we appreciate cool kids on those forums oh and i guess i guess i'll if, if you don't mind i can i can plug my own um well me and a couple buddies from work have a have a uh stream and podcast we do if you don't mind sure no go for it Okay, so uh, me and a couple of dudes from my from my work, we uh, get drunk and play video games. I know it's super original, but uh, we are at uh, Craft Brew Gamers, mm-hmm. and we sometimes we sometimes do Twitch streams. We sometimes do YouTube streams. We'll be on, um, let's see, yeah, just like those, just Twitch and YouTube. We'll, we'll have streams out and um, mm-hmm. put stuff up every once in a while. It's you know I travel a lot for work, so usually it's when we're in the same you know in our in the same hometown area. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll try to get something together. Um, but yeah, cool. Just a little shout out every once in a while. So I, uh, I don't know. I, I think I told you this, but I've been playing Golf Story now. I, j- I just I s- downloaded it. Nice. It's, it's amazing. It's like Earthbound plus golf. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna, it. it's my new obsession. It's sixteen <laughs> bucks plus sixteen bucks with tax on the uh, um, on the eShop. So check that. E-shop? out. Okay. Cool. I think I think we're Switch friends. We are. I haven't played in a while. I just that's probably. I, just, I always yeah yeah. Okay. I mean, I have I have Mario Kart and Zelda that I okay. have not picked up in quite some time. Got Any it. Any So for all of us at Parkscope, you can follow us at Parkscope. Uh, go find us on iTunes or wherever you want to rate us because please ratings help us. Trust me, they actually do. Gets us up higher in the ratings and people can check us out and all that jazz. Uh, you can find me at Parkscope Joe. Uh, we are at parkscope.net for the website. Uh, Brian, have you seen our YouTube Tuesdays columns? I haven't. Joe, tell so, me more about this. So this is a thing that uh, Jeff, uh, one of my life... So Jeff is a family friend uh-huh. who's who's a theme park friend, and my mom's known his mom since they were in high school. And cool. we have like photos of us as babies together, basically. Ah. So... Jeff recorded a bunch of VHS uh, theme park specials from the the 90s and the early 2000s on VHS, oh, wow. and he bought a VHS converter. So we are now oh. uploading a bunch of stuff that's never been uploaded to YouTube before. Oh, dude, you were and speaking my language bad. Bunch of new specials. Um, so go to the YouTube account for Parkscope or go to Parkscope.net. Check them out. We have write-ups for every single episode and special. Uh, we're doing a bunch of great stuff with that. I'm super excited, trying to get more videos up from a bunch of other people that we know. And that's about it on my end. So, uh, I would, how do you want to close out this episode, Brian? Um, be excellent to each other. Yes, be excellent to each other and party on.
All Party right. on. Yeah, not the wrong one. Yeah. No, that's wrong. Wait. No, that's wrong. No, this Wait. feels wrong. No, that's Party on dudes? Wrong. I thought that's what Lincoln said. Yeah, party on dudes. Yeah. Be excellent yeah. to each other. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just just be excellent to each other. <laughs>